And we are live Wednesday night with those guys. And Wednesday night with those guys is sponsored by those, those guys. guys. What's up, everyone? We got us. We What's got us. Up, one of those guys, the regular New York Flyer here, Stevie Bronx, Mister uh, Capture Life's Connection, which is real, real snappy. I like that. You capture life's connection. <laughs> it's a play it with works. words. It's a. It works. What's up, hey, man? How are you, Stevie? That. What's up, Herman? So what's up, man? It's it's hump day and everything is all right over here. You know, I'm just working on that video from that uh that meetup. You know, you know, when I fly, you know, I'd like to, you know, find some nice music to go with it, you know, featuring the, the submarine a little bit in the video and you know, all of the guys that you know, it was like the barbecue. I got got some good shots of some you know, guys, guys flying. Guys are okay. doing their thing, you know. So I got okay. some I'm trying to put it all together. Put a nice little presentation. Yeah. Hey, Ray Kelly, Stephen, what's up? Third Eye View Classic. Um, Stephen, real quick, you was telling us before we came live that that y'all had it was supposed to fly the night before at that meetup, the first meetup. Yeah. But those of you who don't know, there were four meetups that day on the low. What's up, Stephen? <laughs> Hey Ray, uh, yeah. So um, it's you know, um, if those that didn't know, Tony was in town from overseas, and uh, you know, everybody was trying to catch up with him. He has his own Facebook page that features uh drones called Freedom Drones, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, so we all everybody was just communicating, and the thing was is that I had my whole weekend planned out, you know. So unfortunately, I had to go to the beach that morning. So not unfortunately, but I was unfortunately couldn't make it to the meetup. So we were supposed to meet up at night because yeah, he was going to check out the whole night scene. Uh, New York City, it looks amazing. You already know. Um, but it was raining. It, it just the weather out here has been you can't really make plans with the weather in New York. Bipolar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, we knew that was going to happen with the storm and everything. But you know what's crazy about the weather is that if you cancel your planes, you're losing out. Your, your, your plans, I mean, because uh, sometimes it was raining in Brooklyn and it wasn't raining in the Bronx and yeah. it was raining in the yeah, Bronx exactly. and it wasn't raining in Long Island because I went to the beach and it was beautiful. Meanwhile, I was talking to people back in, in my neighborhood and they were saying it was pouring and I'm, I'm just having a blast at the beach, you know, so right. I didn't cancel any of my plans and I'm glad I did. I didn't because uh, I made it to everything and then the weather held out. But as far as the meetup is concerned, we were supposed to meet at night. And it rained. So I told the guys, hey, um, if we meet up early in the morning, really, really early in the morning, you could still catch some nice shots. Mm -hmm. right? And we could catch the sunrise. And I could get home. Oh, it's a double header. Yeah. And I could get home uh, before eight. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I woke up at three in the morning. We linked up about four in the morning. And we, it was just perfect, man. It was perfect because... The, the overcast wasn't so crazy. It was like you had parking like, all to your own. Yo, we found parking in places that you would be circling for hours during the day, you know, and, and that's the beautiful thing about rolling in the morning. Like what's that. good third eye. Yeah. So uh, long story short, I, I was able to hang out with Tony and that was great. You know, like, you know, cause he's gone now. He, I think he went to uh, Washington or something like that. Um, okay. I know he was going case. to another. I know he said he was going to another state. Yeah, he's been on the move. I think he was in Ireland, and then he went to. Uh, he got into the states and went to uh, Ohio, I believe it was, and mm -hmm. then he came, and then he came to New York City. And I'm glad he made it to the meetup because I know he had another meetup to go to. And I told him, listen, you got to go to those guys. They're gonna have food. They're gonna have giveaways. <laughs> They're gonna have some of the top guys in the game just hanging out. It's gonna be a great place to socialize in the drone community. And I'm glad when I saw you go live. Yo, thanks, for the, thanks for the shirts. All I can say about the giveaway, giveaway was some people had started leaving already. So I was like, well, you know, we have a bag of stuff that we're going to give away. <laughs> I almost lost an arm. Wow. <laughs> I put the bag down. I said, Ray Kelly got some shirts to give away. Stevie's yeah. got some stickers. Um, Tom was giving away stuff. I said, Stevie's got masks and shirts. And dude, I put the bag down. And I was pulling my arm out like this because people was like, yo, let me see what you got. I was like, yo, there's some shirts at 3X, there's Everyone this size. And stuff. when I came back to the bag, the bag was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> 
it was your bag was it was crying in the shower. It was thing. empty. It was empty, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, for real. I'm so like, I missed all of that because I because Herman, I, right? Herman was, was over with, flying. Uh, Herman was over there flying, and, uh, but people they, left they with flying. shirts. They, I made sure people had, hey, what's up, show? I made sure people had um, stickers and stuff. Ray Kelly had stickers to give out. Yeah. Um, Tom was giving out stickers and stuff. So it was it was fun. Yeah, no. Steve, thank you for the stickers, my friend. Capture Life. We will give yeah. them out for the show tonight. Thank, no, thank you, Ray. Thank you. All. Don't forget Boy, to mention the show, the Fly for Fun show. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Don't forget to show them some out. support because they come on immediately after us. Right now, we got these time slots locked down. Y'all can't even mess with us. From five to seven, those guys is on. And then Ray Kelly and, and Johnny Droneflyer come in and they lock up that time. And then it starts a whole night of streams. You could be up to like four in the morning, yo. Watching is that streaming. the point? Is that the point right now? I believe Yeah. that if you find a little free time in your schedule, you turn on YouTube, somebody will be on. <laughs> somebody will be on. Like, it don't even matter what time. Like, you just jump on. Even in the middle of the night, sometimes I'm editing video. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I jump on YouTube just to check it out with my phone while I'm editing on the computer. Mm -hmm. And I see somebody on. Well, okay. You know? Like, like middle of the night. Just well, guys you know, just chatting YouTube's, up. It, YouTube is uh, worldwide, so. Yeah, but the drunk community is getting. Somebody is going to always be awake. The Can't drone community, where they are. the drone community is growing and it's growing and it's spreading right into YouTube. You know, like, you know, back in the days, you, you had a few key people mm -hmm. and those are the giants now. I don't think they yeah. meant to be giants. Yeah, they, they, they broke 100,000. Ken Donos broke 100,000. Billy Kyle. I remember when Billy Kyle did one of his first live streams. He had a pimple right here on his cheek, but he <laughs> held it down. Yeah. You know? It was like he, they were one of the they were the only ones that you could find when you were searching anything about drones, right? Like Ken and them, uh, mm -hmm. Billy, and now like they're the giants because you know timing. Forget mm -hmm. about it, you know. It's and, right here. You know there are, there are actually a few guys who were on YouTube when I first got into drones that um. You mean these trains right anymore. here? <laughs> you don't see them anymore. Hey, Michael Blades. Yeah, this is true. There are a few people that I don't like. Droner, but Droner blew up. Well, you, the black guy different. from California, he comes back like every six months, though. What's up he comes back every six months. But Droner, I used to watch him ritualistically. He it's went to South America. He was doing a news thing on uh, YouTube. Not because he was doing a, used thing, a news thing on YouTube for... Um, who was he doing that for? Another... Or another, uh, I know uh, he was doing some stuff for Nat. For hey, Tom, he was doing some stuff for Nat Geo at one time. Damn, and, that's heavy. I, yo, Stevie, he went his first job, he went to Brazil to do a shoot as a professional 107 pilot. Nice. And he went there, came back, sold his condo, and went back there. And he's been in South America traveling, doing stuff for Nat Geo, doing um, drones for good, all kinds of stuff down there. Now, he'll come on like every six months or so. You'll see him. He'll do a video and say, yo, I'm still alive. I haven't been killed by a poisonous wow. spider or nothing like that. But his whole life has changed now. Yeah, uh, it was stuff. Remote Pilot 101 he was doing videos for. Hey, Johnny wow. Drone Flyer. Yes, yes, yes. Johnny Drone Fly, Ray Kelly, hey, Johnny Michael Joe Blade, Flyer. Rhode Island, hey, the Rhode Island thing. I there's something on the schedule, and I'm trying to flip it so I could get to Rhode Island instead. So give me, I, I have all there, Stevie. Yet. We're uh, all there. I know <laughs> everybody's there, and yeah. man, Herman, did you get your hotel, Herman? Well, I'm gonna do that this week. Yeah, Eddie was man. telling me about this for a while. He was That's, like, oh, uh, before they even gave a date, he was like, man, we thinking about going out there. And blah, we blah, talked blah. about it. Yeah. We talked about it months ago, man. He told me you Remember? were involved. He told me, uh, yeah, he told me everybody was involved. And I'm like, he See, never Eddie, he didn't give me to the date to recent, like not recently, but when, hey, right. when you guys locked in just like a few weeks ago, whatever it was, he well, hit me up and I was like, man, I looked at the calendar on the date that you gave. Anyway, I'm working it out. We'll know. I, I'll see. Okay, what I, cool. Yeah. Uh, we, cool. uh, 
We if like Michael Bay says, and I oh, like crap. taking Come the on, long excursions. <laughs> <laughs> it's so close. You know what I mean? It's right there, man. I, I drive I further than that before, you know? So, no, yeah, definitely. We like taking the long excursions. We do like branching out. And, I love know, so. I love travel. Yeah, the travel is nice. I mean, the camaraderie of the groups out and about, meeting up with some of these other people. It's really a blast. Rhode Island looks like, amazing. They got a crazy crew out there. I met, I met some of them in Florida and they crazy cool. So uh, you know, yeah. crazy is the word. Yes. Okay. <laughs> some of them are swimmers, uh, good swimmers. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Okay. Otherwise, bring your floaties with you. They got the search and rescue. I don't know how he found Yo, that. Ray drone. Kelly said you better be there, Stevie. Oh, we're, we're actually we're actually staying in Massachusetts, Stevie. So you oh, know, you it's weird Mass? over there. Yeah, it's it's right there, man. It's yeah. uh, you know, right across the border. It's minutes away. So we're only twenty minutes from the uh, oh, uh, cool from man. the morning meetup. We'll be there on Friday. And we're actually staying through uh, Eddie, his wife, and my wife. We're staying through Monday. We're actually checking out on Monday. Oh, so okay. okay. We figure we'll take the slow roll back to the city after the uh, morning commute. <laughs> and uh, we'll, right. we'll take it easy and maybe uh, stop maybe New London or something like that and grab a couple of shots or something. Who knows? We'll yeah, see. Yeah, it'll okay. work. Yeah. Sounds like a nice shit. Yeah. Swimming techniques. Michael's talking about Mark. Mark is the guy who found the FPV drone that crashed in the Florida meetup. I don't know how he found it. I mean, everybody kind of knew in the er, the general area where yeah. it crashed, but still, you go in that John water. Don't fly. Yeah, Mark is not crazy. Well, maybe he is. Uh, does uh, Does Mark show up in a tuxedo with the uh, sunrise uh, meet or what? Okay, we'll okay. see. We'll see. We'll see. You never know. You never you know, know with, with Mark. Uh, Mark. Yeah. Right. Mark is great. But yeah. yeah, he he he. I don't know how he found that drone. I don't even care if you told me the general area. You just feeling yeah. around in that water, and and I don't know. He that was he did good with that one, man. Forget it. That, that yeah, was that should be a good time. Should oh be yeah, good time. We'll yeah. Forward to it. Hey, but um, guys, you know that um, American Robotics joined the um, the FAA's unmanned aircraft systems beyond visual line of sight. Um. Rulemaking committee. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, because I just uh, saw that I'm tied uh, into the deck. So uh, one okay. of my guys is on the deck. Uh, Captain Mike Leo is my guy on the deck. So um, he he uh, he feeds me some good stuff. Uh, some nice things happen in there. It's good to see American Robotics involved. Uh, they get they bring a lot of experience to the table. So. That's a good thing for us across the board, I think. Hey, what's up, Drone Shots? How are you, man? Hey, hey Joe, Joe, Joe. What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Wednesday yeah, Nights with was, those uh, guys. I saw that article. I was like, wow, okay. So they, 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 this one, they're actually taking serious now. Well, you know, it, it, it you'll have proponents and opponents, right? People are like, oh, why is this company involved in deciding, you know, they're going to steer business their way and... Look, if you don't have industry involved in helping to get the various points of view necessary before you actually make a rule, I think we, as the consumer of those rules, get shortchanged, right? Right. I mean, you you, right. you want all these. I mean, the only thing I look for these days is a, is a level of diversity in any decision making. Mm -hmm. Let me know that everybody's represented. Everybody's got a voice. So right. this way, what you're presenting me is the best of breed instead right. of a slanted view at a situation mm -hmm. where there was no feedback or intake. So, you know, I, I see it as a positive when you bring industry to the table. Now, of right. course, well, I, I'm a major important. opponent of the lobbying groups that are out there because I stop distracting the lawmakers waving money in their face. OK, uh, I'd like to say they're not strippers, but strippers sometimes have more integrity. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> but uh, I, I dun, look, dun. <laughs> industry industry at the table with government, public safety, and the consumer end. Remember, the DAC is also has citizen representation on it. Okay, mm -hmm. so you know that's a good thing for us. Well, I mean, it's it's about beyond visual line of sight, so it basically affects these commercial drones that they want to have in their. Uh, 
airspace, doing their thing, delivering whatever they want to deliver. So yeah. wow. why not have a company like this on board? Well, you know, look, if if it only we makes don't, sense. yeah, if we don't, then we are getting a slanted view. When, when we're talking about rulemaking committees that involve technology, I would like some technologists represented here, <laughs> okay, instead of politicians. Talking. Unless it's DARPA coming to the table, then, hey, guys, you are more than welcome, okay? Remember, uh, they invented uh, the internet, not a politician running for president. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's good to see, I think. I, I think it's a good thing for all of us. I really do. Oh, man, that's funny. And then I saw this other story here that they were using drones to catch poachers yeah. and uh, monitor endangered species in Madagascar. You know, it's funny because we'll come out of an, an old, you know, it's an old problem with a, with a new solution. Right. Yeah. I mean, look at look at the vastness like of the African continent. Right. Now, Madagascar, of course, is an island off the coast, mm -hmm. but again, has a level of flora and fauna that needs to be protected. We got some big uh, bugs there too. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah man. There's this, <laughs> you know, we we you know, we live a kind of life in the United States, okay? <laughs> uh, we have very few things outside of ourselves uh -huh. that will kill us. Okay? <laughs> uh, the number one killer is ourselves, but uh, outside of that, we have very little, man. You go to the African continent or where shit down under, you go to the Australian continent. Australia. There's hardly anything there that won't kill you. Yeah, Australia okay. has the highest poison uh, potency in almost everything that they have yeah. out there. Yeah. Spider, snake, and like everything that has poison is the most potent in the world. And, and do not drive at night across the outback. Okay. Yeah. First off, you can't get across. That, you can't get down the road with the amount of wildlife taking over the nighttime uh, spaces. There, and those so. can those kangaroos out there look like they just came out of a 10 year bid. They jacked <laughs> up. <laughs> they jacked up some. <laughs> They're going to kick ass, man. The, they'll punch. They'll knock over your freaking rent a car. <laughs> yeah. And everybody looks so cool, too. You know, wallabies and kangaroos. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you walk up to a kangaroo on a bad day, man, and you'll be singing a different <laughs> tune, right? You ever so, see those things do a drop kick, leaning on oh his man. tail, uh, leaning like, on his well, tail? You yeah. gotta be get that, careful with get that, that extra leaf spring get action there. right open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see that nail on that thing? Yeah, but, did but, you see but that the thing is, with that guy that two piece the, the um, kangaroo. Oh yeah, because the kangaroo went after his dog. Yeah, yeah. So they yeah. had to chase him down. He had to actually. I remember that. I had a couple of jabs that. thrown on that one, man. So and the kangaroo was like, "Holy shit, he's fighting back." Not me. Uh, no, no, no. That looked like a but, you know, situation right there. Look, you, using drones for good here, okay? Yeah. Uh, chasing down poachers. I, I mean, if, if, if you look at the devastation across the African continent, okay, the Asian continent of yeah. wildlife and, and species that don't, I mean, existed when <coughs> I was growing up that no longer exist. That's freaking crazy. Hey, Sunrise. Uh, yeah. So, so to see them used for this, I mean, you know, poaching is still a huge problem, uh, you know, for ivory and rhino oh, horns yeah. and, you know, everything's oh, yeah. a fucking sex aid. So, you know, we got to fucking the drone slice is a lot off. The drone is a lot quieter than a truck. Trying to a a right lot around. quieter than a truck and can carry of a, of, of, a mm -hmm. much faster area, right? True, okay. true. And well, when we were talking about drones in a box, that yeah. this is a freaking good solution, right? If yeah, these well, things are strategically located at various points. Well, so. Plymouth Rock um, Technology, uh, you know, has a, they announced that partnership there with uh, Darrell Wildlife Conservation Trust. So they're the ones that's providing the, uh, the drones for, you know, for this uh, project. Okay. But, and I thought that was a funny name. That's why I brought that story Bob up. Casey. Rock. <laughs> I see you, Chris. It's, it's funny. Like they were it's here where, so long. It's where, it's where the big steel began. <laughs> Bray, stop spreading. Hey, Bob man. Casey. What's up? <laughs> Casey. Bob, what's up, bro? And now France is supposed to be testing anti-drone laser weaponry. Man, yeah, supposedly for the 20 uh 24 Olympics, 
it, it's part yeah. of their well that's the second half of the drone swarm show by the way the yeah, first well, half is they put the rings <laughs> up the second half is they knock them out of the sky they knock them out of the sky <laughs> okay yeah. and that helps light the torch at the end those demonstrations well, well, they, well they have militaries supposedly Herman you gotta share the video man I got military, the video loaded of what it looks like yeah the military supposedly successfully uh you know, tested this thing, and the, the country is saying that they they want to deploy them around the country within a couple of years, and they, they hope to have it ready. You know, their their drone blasting energy defense system they call it up and running for their uh, when they host the uh, the uh, World Cup of Rugby in 2023, and for the Summer Games for the Olympics in 2024. So That's imagine, look at imagine that. they put one of these alongside the Van Wick. There's going to be a YouTube influence, so <laughs> that's going to need, need a to, new takeoff location. They need huh? to put that around uh, the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> wow, they'll be that's gonna, that, that'll they'll be replace. Orange, that'll be orange plastic all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many drone companies France is talking about putting out of business? The people hey, are doing surveillance hey, and hey, all kind do of you, stuff. Do you honestly think? And, and find the pilot and just say, you know what? Just blast it out the sky. And get it so, out. Yo, yeah. This video yeah, is hard to watch, man. This is hard to watch. So, so <laughs> let me ask a serious question here. Do you uh, seriously think there are in some U.S. naval ships already equipped with this technology? From oh, what I heard. Well, oh, this so, is the old stuff. So, this to is be the honest old stuff. with you, Tom, um, I'm not, I, don't, I don't doubt it, but they already have, they, they, they already have the authorization to do it they don't have to so oh no they don't have to come to, to anybody what what this True. is is this is the first that. this is the first use in a civilian we'll say a civilian environment mm. instead of a theater of conflict so right. that's why you're hearing about it by the way because yeah. this technology companies this technology has been prevalent in the uh persian gulf by the way Mm -hmm. I, okay. Oh, yes, most definitely. Because of our because, there Iranian, were a lot. because of our Iranian friends, we've had to employ this technology for about the last four or five years. Yeah. Okay? But I you know, like I believe that because someone got the idea you could attach explosives to a drone and fly it in Dude, from a high altitude. What did I say? 1843, when the, uh, when the Australians First? attacked mm -hmm. Venice, okay? Hey, Incendiaries hey, in a balloon, okay? Look, look, most of our technology comes from military first. Yeah, of course. Not civilian yeah. application, yes, yes. right? Yeah, I had a majority of friend, our technology. Uh, my, my little brother's best friend was flying drones for. Hey, wow, Ray Kelly, like, I haven't received that email me, yet. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you send yeah, it? In the military. Oh, so, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Eddie, what's up, bro? Hey, Eddie, bro. Hey, Eddie, Eddie Nunez, you know, what's good? You know, they're talking about um, having this prepared for uh, major events that are going on yeah. in, in that side of the world over there right. by France yeah. and stuff like that. But and, and, is it practical? Because now you're flying, right? And you, you, you're just trying to get some illegal shots. And you right. shoot down this drone and that thing comes down in a situation with crowds and such. And smashes somebody in the head. Yeah, like what do you do? Like, Because um, now it's, it's the guy's fault because he's flying illegally. But that drone would not crack into that kid's head if you didn't shoot it down. So where do you go? I, 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 I would imagine, Stevie, that there would be certain safeguards in place, okay? But the likelihood of a lightweight consumer drone causing any significant damage is fairly low. We all agree here. We've complained about how uh, hysteria has been wrapped around our, you know, uh, less than one pound drone flying. Right. Okay. Yeah, because e a even a Phantom Four. Okay. Look, Stevie, I I'll put it to you this way: you you have a potentially uh, volatile situation occurring with, say, a Phantom Four with with some uh, payloads taped to it, and you have a decision to make because it's headed towards a crowd of maybe uh, fifteen twenty thousand people. Uh, Limited, yeah, you, 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 you have to weigh the risk benefit, right? Do I risk a few to save many, you know? So, 
yeah. those things come into play and and we it as is, the the civilian don't think it's it right to, that somebody's making yeah. those decisions for us but mm-hmm. i gotta be honest with all of you somebody's making those decisions for you every freaking day of the week yeah who lives and but who the dies is, okay the thing is so, who's gonna make that decision when a drone the military makes well, that decision every day it. the no, uh, law enforcement makes no, that know, decision but, right? I just got so the they, picture right they have the olympics going on or what have you over there right Mm-hmm. And yeah. this one rogue dude just flying from a parking lot nearby flies right. his Phantom, you know, right. doesn't have anything on it in the military. Well, they would be uh, steep. I don't think they're just bam, bam, bam. You know, it, it's, <laughs> you seen uh, that video. It, you seen that video? Okay. No, well, well, that <laughs> video back, was Lauren. showing you. <laughs> that video, that video I know, is I know. more. To keep messing. the guy flying rogue <laughs> just because he wants to get a snapshot. I just had to see sky. Herman smile. Okay. I just had to see Herman smile. <laughs> but truthfully speaking, they, if, if, in a situation like what Tom um, described, they're taking you out before the explosion from that yeah. causes yeah. any damage to the to, to, to property. What's up, Leonard? And, and, How are and, you? And take any lives Leonard, in the venue easy. that they're trying to protect. So we're not used to this in the United States, right? But, uh, you know, with very few exceptions, mm-hmm. uh, the French government has been plagued by terrorism much true. more true. frequently very than true. us. But Eddie look at the situation in Israel, right? When Scud missiles were flying overhead, they had to make a decision. Send up these missile killers, the iron which possibly the whatever. debris would come down on neighborhoods yeah. or let those things impact neighborhoods. Now that so, see, that's that's a no-brainer, but what I'm worried about is that a bunch of rogue guys trying to get some shots at the Olympics. Because there's always somebody that try to get the exclusive shot, oh, not course. worry about the rule. More and than they likely, shoot, they laser all these things no, down and no, they're smacking no, 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 people no. in the first, back. First off, like I said, okay, <laughs> it's not going to be a free for all. There are methods of procedure, mop, mop. Right. Okay, methods of procedure that are followed by military, law enforcement, government entities. What's acceptable? Right. What's not? There's not one one person at the trigger who makes that call. That's not the person who oh, makes yeah, the no. call. There's an incident commander who's going to be in charge, who's going to decide whether that threat is significant enough to take out of the sky. Right. If it's a rogue camera flyer, then they're going to hunt them down, but they're probably not going to shoot them down. Right. Okay. Now, now this technology, just they just showed just totally taking them down. Now, I, I heard of technology that makes you force land. Okay, that's different. That, that's yeah, that's, there, that's there, taking there over. There, there, are of technology. there are different okay. levels of technology yeah, 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 that yeah. they're right. going to. See, America using. has that technology. I know that for <laughs> No, America has. Please, please. America has they're all like this technology. France, France is shooting oh. spitballs at these things. No, no. no France <laughs> has this technology yeah. too, buddy. So, <laughs> look, if you check back on some of our news stories, you'll see we've talked about yeah. uh, France and uh, avoid, detect, and in- interdict technology. Right. So, you know, this is this is uh, uh, this is offensive action mm-hmm. to prevent further harm. Right. Right. There <laughs> are there are command and control interdiction methods that are out there with, in various forms. Right. We've seen the bazooka. That they point at yeah. it to jam the signal. We've also yeah, seen you the bazooka. The drone, they you point the at it that takes net, over. The catapult you know. net. Yeah. You remember? So yeah. And, and then you have the uh then you have uh the red-tailed hawk, once you take his hood off, mm-hmm. sees the drone as a piece of game. Okay, so there's various methods that can be employed. What is that uh, the nicer one, Stevie. I know you appreciate the the hawk because at least maybe the hawk will land that that phantom for. VT, right, you, you get a, a little few more broken gently props to the ground, that, and okay. scratches. That's about it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, the hawk gets yeah, a reward for each uh, phantom it brings back. So I agree with you, Ray Kelly. He says force landings are much safer than blowing drones out of the sky. Absolutely. But Absolutely. You have to think about risk factor and where they're at. Yeah. Yep. What's that's up, what I'm Bill? saying. I, I thought I thought those videos. Out. It's not yeah. inerrant. That's a that's look, look, if I'm going to show you What's good, the worst brother? that can happen and maybe prevent you from thinking about putting your drone up, that's the video I'm showing. I, but I Stevie, just the look on your face and look on Herman's face. OK, <laughs> right that there, look, that that, that tells me like, you guys aren't 
you're not planning your trips to France to fly at the Olympics. I, so there's two nah, right there. I'm, I'm used to I've saying, been, I've been to, uh, do it. I've been to a lot of meetups, man. I've seen that live, bro. <laughs> I, I, would, I, I would, I was saying I would never do it. I'm just like, I look at it and I'm like, wow, you know, the, the, the video is a demonstration. They have to show you how the technology works. Right. They can't say to you, oh, you know, that's, we just got a couple of guys over here flying. They just want to take some people. Let's go over here and warn you. They put one camera yeah. on no, the guy in the parking lot. They drones up and shot them but, down. So that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm but, saying the military put one camera on the guy in the parking lot, and he tells his partner, you want to see this guy cry? Watch this. <laughs> no, we just blow up his Air 2S. <laughs> and watch his reaction from the surveillance camera. Money, <laughs> money <laughs> falling from the Only sky. Only one motor hub. Falls right on the ground, like ten feet away from it. Yeah, <laughs> and you see the tears. The rest of it comes the down. It's a blob of up plastic the to, to get his care fresh. <laughs> He's sweeping around. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, from that article, um, they were saying that they could pick up uh drones from I think it was three kilometers. It's like one point one point eight miles. That's mm -hmm. equivalent to close to, but they can't zap. They can't zap the drone, like make it uh, to, to destroy it unless it's hey, about uh, 0.6 miles, like about almost a well, half, that, that's half very a mile important. away. Yeah, that's so very important. it's a half I don't a mile. Take, yeah. yeah, I don't want to take the commercial airliner that's coming in on their base approach three and a half miles away. Because <laughs> <laughs> we missed. Okay. Oh, we went through. Hey, hey stewardess, I got a hole burning in my side window here. Should I be concerned? You know, it's okay. crazy. <laughs> I, I seen there was a, a Netflix movie. Uh, not too long ago, that had all these drones that swarmed on the president of the United States uh, yeah, in the show, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. It, that was sick. You would need like 12, 13 of those laser things going at it because it was like over there 100 enough drones. secret service men to protect them. Yeah. 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 It was like 100 yeah. drones coming over the right. hill uh, while they were fishing in the lake or something like that. And it was sick. It was floating yeah, sure all over the place. That was sick. That was sick. I'm I more think concerned about the single drone with the one. You know, ballistic shot in it that all it has to do is hit you in the head. That's it. It's all mm -hmm. it's all done, right? We saw that video not too long ago where the guy's standing on stage yeah, at some kind of uh, military expo. Hey, look yeah. at what we have yeah. for oh, you. Uh, a one shot drone. Yeah, yeah. one shot. Yeah, an assassination drone. Yeah. Yeah, one shot. Back to the range. One I go. shot. One yeah. shot drone video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Stevie, sure. Stevie, you got to go Target. back. It, the next time you go back, see if they have an M249. Okay. M2. You'll enjoy mm. shooting that, dude. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's known as a SAW, a squad assault weapon. That's uh, belt fed. You'll have fun with that, bro. Yeah. I might have. If a, any of you come out to order. Vegas, man, I'll turn you on to not, not, the, not, not the souvenir shop. Hey, uh, you, what's ranges, good? But I'll turn you on to the ones you can have some real fun at. There you go. Where's see that? That's a that's a good reason to visit Tom when he's out of town. There you go. One, that's a good what reason. you say, Tom? He's gonna take you to a range that you could get busy. You could get real busy on. You don't okay? have to be worried about all the other stuff, the little red tape that you. Man, have to I once watched the, the, the these two Serbian guys come in. It was freaking hysterical. That's right? one of the best. And and the one guy know. wanted to fire an American Eagle, and this thing is freaking huge. A Desert Eagle. Yeah, it. Yeah. But the American Eagle version, which is even freaking heavier. Right. And the guy broke his shoulder. I believe you. They came in all all macho and shit. And yeah. I said to Roz, watch this. This is going to be painful. This is going to end okay? bad. This is going to end real bad. I've okay? seen people almost crack their head open with the kick on a gun. Yeah. Pulling 50 cow. They want to look like uh, Dirty the Harry. Rambo. But, you know? Rambo, pick it up off the tripod. Yeah. Sling start, it under your Start realm. with the 22, son. Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. <laughs> start with the you know, 22. Smart munition. <laughs> yeah. Basically I, I had a wacky friend once and we, we had a little too much free time on our hands and we had gone down to a, a range down in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And he asked the lady for a cop gun. Okay, that's what he asked for. <laughs> so we all bust out laughing. And I said, give him a 357. He was a big boy anyway, right? So he's in the stall. We hang up our target, targets. I send mine down range, right? Next thing I hear is he yells out, stop police. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, and I look over. He set his target on fire. He never sent it down. And I'm like, fatty, what are you doing, man? He said he jumped out of the bushes at me. I had no choice. So 
Yeah, it, you got to always watch you who you go to careful. the range with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get very everyone. dangerous. Okay. I'm telling you, but when it comes to drones, you're going to have to shoot those skeets. You know what I mean? Those, those discs <laughs> that they shoot. So you can practice shooting down drones before you get you get Giant. one in the head. <laughs> 12 gauge or 20 gauge, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Safety. Oh, you're welcome, Ray. I'm glad you like those safety stickers. Uh, you oh, know, so I got a batch of them from the FAA the last time. Uh, See, Ray's so appreciative. We went to a drone responder meet. <laughs> Ray had a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely. I loved all the videos. Ray didn't stop the whole saw, time, man. I saw a few videos that came out of the meetup. Yeah, we had fun. Yeah. For me, that was a fun fly day. I mean, footage wise, you know, and that's the weird thing, Stevie. You can attest for this too. You know, the, you know, camera drone flyers, we're going for the shot. We're going for the shot. We're going for the yeah. shot. You know, with, with, with the FPV drone, we're going for the moment. You know, we're, we're immersed. So it's like, I guess the best analogy I can make is the camera drones like flying a Cessna, you know, 172. It was, it was nice. Look at how pretty everything is. And the uh, FPV drones like flying an F-22 uh, <laughs> through a dogfight, you know? So I was driving. Yeah, that's Lawrence a difference there. Crazy. I yeah. met up with Lawrence and Herman there uh, before, like a couple of weeks back. And all Herman uh, and Lawrence here is... <laughs> He was like, oh. he's like, Lawrence was like, slow it down or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I tell you, the guys we'll over, the guys it. who were flying the uh, the fixed wings over at uh, uh, Flushing RC Park, uh, then the then the guys on the other side who were flying the FPVs, they were doing they were doing a dog fight over the circle. Oh yeah, and it was a blast, man, watching them. They were having a riot of a time. Okay. Uh, you guys the still there? Flyers. Yeah, yeah we here. Yeah, we oh, here. And we just had a, a black. Everything went black and just came back on within a few seconds. And YouTube too? Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm still so here. We, I'm we still, just here I'm in New York. Connected. We got uh we got go some anywhere. thunderstorms passing through. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just every day. This is what New York summer's become. Yeah, yeah. The, the wet and wild. The and then you can guarantee weather. the weekends are washouts. Yeah, we were talking about that before you got on. It's like yeah. you can't oh, cancel your plans yeah. because it's a storm yeah. in Queens and yeah. it's beautiful in Brooklyn. And there's right. a storm right. in right. Westchester County and it's beautiful in Long Island. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I was lucky to be in the right well, borough. Because of where it's passing. Yeah. Well, Ray will tell you. Ray will tell you. That's like Florida, man. You're going to get like a <laughs> thunderstorm every afternoon. Yeah. You know, it rips through. Everybody take cover and then the sun's shining again. You look at the weather forecast, it always says partly partly cloudy and chance of chance of rain yeah. <laughs> every day. Because <laughs> yeah. somewhere is gonna be raining. Clouds in, the sky. in Florida, I yeah. In Florida was clouds in the sky every day. It's gonna be raining. Somewhere. It was raining Hold now. on, guys. I'm okay. oh, he clipped out. We lost one, well, and then there was three. You know what? <laughs> huh? It was also this thing with the all electric future. Jeep, yeah, you know, you're talking about having a, a, a built in LED uh drone uh drone pairing, but it talked right. about how you remember with the uh, Audi had teased with that autonomous um concept car, with right? The, uh, was it the uh, AI trail? Yeah, they said it wasn't they practical the, at the, the drone, time. the headlights, and then, right. and then they had that night you could follow the um, those well. Apparently, Jeep has figured out a um a more com a, a or or reasonable and impractical way of um, I got the video drones into their uh, technology lineup. With it's them. basically a car commercial. So if I'm if trying you to get that past video large, you'll see it was just a. I'm trying to get it up to the point where they just um, a basically they show, a car commercial. Showing they show from this 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 uh fully autonomous Jeep that you know it drives itself, it does everything itself, and the drone the Jeep is actually a docking station for your your drone. Yeah. And and the video is actually got the drone being it's 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 got a bird's eye view looking down at them sleeping in the damn vehicle as it's as it's driving itself. Yeah, right. And and and, and, and throw it in the Herman mentioned this. I said it sounds like a, a, a car commercial, and it basically is. It's Jeep 
showing their stuff. What is muddy water and ring and muddy water finding have to do with it? I was trying to fast forward to the part where the drone, where they're actually sleeping or whatever, but for some reason, they want you to watch most of the commercial. So peer to peer charging that you see right oh, there. Oh, here you go. Here you go. You launched yeah, the here. Jeep. Here you go. Did you launch the drone from the Jeep and it acts as extra headlights above the Jeep and, and the so road? No, well. I already do that. Stop. Come on. <laughs> I just got to put a box on my roof now so I can hey, do listen. My recoveries. Well, you remember we did a we did an article <laughs> on a Jeep that um actually launched drones from the top and it actually followed the passenger to a to a building or whatever if it was dark. So well, this is saying. this is similar. Um, Everyone's coming out with their own version. Audi, I'm trying to find Audi T's with a concept. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's enough. That's enough. But black sea tailgate AI trail. stargazing as I drive. Uh guys. <laughs> you know, too, too far, okay? While you drive right off a cliff. Well, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, your, your drone will make it though. All yeah, the yeah, drone's fine. The drone All is it fine. takes yeah, for yeah. the Department of Transportation to do some road work, and that'd be it. You'll oh, be yeah, able man. to see where the top of the mountain is because the lights will be on <laughs> with the drone. Hey, look at that! Look at that wonderful road work they did over at Calvin, right? If, I mean, if you survive, on. if you survive, we got nothing yeah. but trust in our government. Yeah, but okay. could you imagine nothing? Okay, Tom. All right, I got one. Yeah, well, well, Yo, I, I, I give you one for you. Imagine that thing maneuvering its way through. The, the 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 interchange between the uh, Van Wick and the and, and the Jackie, and Jackie Robbins. Dude, I was just <laughs> I'd say love that. to no. see him do that. <laughs> no, that. I bet okay. you they, they crash in that thing. Now, man, you don't sleep. That's a nightmare. Okay, where the, where's that drone going to take you? You know what happened to me last night? Right? <laughs> Coming back from from the island, I had to jump over. Okay, I wound up on the Van Wick. <laughs> it's like what the. <laughs> I'm coming said, forget about off road. <laughs> Last night they decided, oh, we're going to make this two lanes going eastbound, okay? But at the very last minute, we're going to erase all the lines, okay? Now you got three sets of lines. Not one person knew where the actual lane was. They all made it up as they went. And the safest bet for me now was to go to Van Wick and jump off at Atlantic. Hey, so, quick question. Yeah. Ray, Kelly, nice. Ray Kelly, just to diverse from the subject, Ray Kelly said, can you identify this pilot? And no one on the panel can answer, but they're asking, can you identify this pilot <laughs> right here? <laughs> like, no idea, it was, man. It was, it have, was down in Florida. I have no looks idea like who that is. Looks like they're giving up gang signs while holding the drone. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> looks like some low rider dude. I don't know, man. It, it like, down in right? right? South Florida. It looked like huh? somebody's about to assassinate somebody. It looked like a ninja. That's right. Right? Yeah, he just came go. out of the tree. And then you if it weren't for those funky pants that I really got a question there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know, man. You know, Maybe it looked, it looked like there was a golf game after the drone meetup. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Were those knickers? I'm not too sure. Man. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a, an intense golf game after that. That's what yeah. it is, knickers. <laughs> That's what it was. Knickers yeah. and high socks, bro. Yeah, That's pull, all right. pull your That's boots okay, up. Man. Pull your boots yeah. up. Yeah, we, no, understand. we understand. We yeah. understand. When, when you leave New York, you dress differently. <laughs> oh, they got yeah, us. Wrong. Regardless of how we dress, they know uh, the second we open up our freaking mouth. Someone just from. has Joey yeah, said yeah, yeah. the drone reviewer. Uh, <laughs> he said that was Bill the Bill drone reviewer. The drone. <laughs> what happened? That was Bill the drone reviewer. I, Jody I, I, said yeah. that, that that picture was Bill the drone reviewer. I, I, I'll uh, I'll second that. I think that was who it was. <laughs> I gotta look into it more. I'm gonna save that look, picture. Look, Johnny Ray 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 was multitasking. Johnny Ray was doing everything. <laughs> yes, it man. looked like everyone else was setting up, but Ray was flying and setting up and narrating mm. and and uh -huh. and greeting and vlogging everyone and everything coming else. In, so. Even people that weren't coming to the meet, he didn't differentiate. He just said hello to everybody. What do you think about these drones? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was a good time. Good time. I yeah. told Herman, you they you, would get bored, Bill. Herman, you want a couple yeah. of, uh, we'll do a couple of tips quick? Sure. 
Do Tom's okay. tips. Okay. Well, we got Time a for Tom's of, uh, tips of okay. the week. Just a, just a few real quick. Uh, just a couple of helpful things. Okay. Um, if you've ever been uh, plagued by seeing your props in your frame because you're trying to do a high-speed shot and chase something, well, the big problem that you have here is your cameras usually hung on the front of your drone. So as you try to fly your drone a lot quicker, uh, the pitch or angle of your drone is going to increase. So you're more likely hey, to see Matt, those let's go. in the shot. Easy solution. Fly backwards. Okay? All right. And it sounds so simple, but it's so often overlooked. That whenever a new drone comes out, people complain, oh, man, I see my props. So, yeah, I'm not talking about with FPV. These are camera drone tips, okay, for, for this week. But fly backwards. Now, the other thing is that, you know, using just branching off of that same tip, have you ever seen the shots where they come out from far and, and they, they come across a huge landscape and they wind up right in front of the model? Have you ever tried to do that? And, and if you have, how many times have you actually been successful coming all the way in and stopping right on station? Exactly. Because it's extremely difficult. What's the best thing to do? Oh, you Fly backwards your drone so much and reverse you your footage in post. Okay? If you have a model standing up on a cliff mm -hmm. and you're going to fly in from a couple of kilometers away and come right up on her, start from the end point, huh? and fly back a couple of kilometers. True. It'll be a much, much smoother flight. Okay? They the other thing, new drone hospital. flyers. New drone flyers, when you see their video, it's always from high atop, wherever they're flying. The most disinteresting video we see is from high, high, high above. Fly <laughs> low. Your footage gets so much more Harry interesting. Harry says if he flies backwards, he fly he'll never low. get there. Okay. I didn't even know people were still flying forward. Yeah, see? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I, that was a joke. <laughs> I fly back with wow. <laughs> I fly wow. back with everywhere. Herman, yeah. Herman didn't put his hand in his head. The, well, the my, I'll send the drone yeah. backwards. Yeah. You get much cleaner footage. Much cleaner. Yeah, the flying, and, uh, flying as high as you can. That's, certain, that's a biggie. Certain times that doesn't work because if you have a bird or there's traffic moving around you. Absolutely. There's a it, time and place for everything, right? Like I would say, you know, look, when we talk about photography tips, we say, hey, never send to everything. You know, use your crash points or your points of interest. Draw in your mind mm -hmm. a tic-tac-toe board grid on mm -hmm. that shot. Don't put everything on center. Put it on one of those points where they intersect. Never get there. <laughs> if if I want to show somebody running, Jerry, so. okay, I get an assignment. Hey, I want you to show a runner, and they don't give me any more information than that. Then I have to surmise as a photographer. Well, I want to make sure I get the shot they want, so I'm going to do it a couple of different ways. I'm going to mm -hmm. shoot it with the runner, with two thirds in front of them, and I'm going to shoot with the runner with two thirds behind them. Now, the shot right. with the runner with two-thirds behind them makes you, in your mind, already surmise that runner is running away from something, okay? With the runner running with two-thirds of the frame in front of them, your mind automatically paints the picture he's running towards something. So, Ooh. yeah, that, that works great, but the rules are meant to understand the theory. You don't always have to follow them, right? There's a time and place for everything. If you're in a congested area, like if we fly backwards out of Flushing RC Park, it's going to look really weird. It's going to look like we're in the UK because the cars are going to look like they're driving on the wrong side. And okay? waterfalls, you know, and all <laughs> yes, that. Water, you know, water you going gotta, up. Yes, you know the, your situation. You got to use Defying gravity <laughs> will definitely signal what you did, okay? <laughs> Unless you're trying to defy gravity. Now, my last tip is a <laughs> software tip, okay? <laughs> Plenty of pilots say, damn, I, you know, I was flying back because I only had 30% battery uh -huh. and I wasn't filming and man, did I miss a shot. And I lost these birds that come. <laughs> so, so why? Now there's a group of people who will just turn on record 
because I got this, I got that, I got this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's great if you have that level of discipline because short shots, short clips, mm -hmm. short edits, right? All good. Gotcha. But there's another way to get there. Okay. Another way to get there is to use a free old product called lossless <laughs> cuts. Okay. Lossless cuts allows you when you're flying back, why not use that? That, that battery, of course, you have to have a larger capacity memory card, mm -hmm. but who of us doesn't these days, right? So when you're flying back, you just keep running the footage, okay? Nice and smooth straight lines back because you need an opening or a closing for your video. But then you can bring it into lossless cuts. You bring the clip right into lossless cuts, sit back, ins and outs, ins and outs, ins and outs, output, and it's only going to output hey, drums, those clips you wanted okay. to keep. And then trash the rest of the stuff because unlike wine it doesn't age and get better okay get your clips put them in a clips folder and then you can do your post either in premiere final cuts uh that, crap that is, uh, lawrence uses uh you know so whatever you're using that uh lossless cuts can get you there a lot quicker it's a lot easier to also encode and edit short mm. clips Mm -hmm. And that's it for today's Tom School Tips. It is. I found I found out it that's very true, Tom, because I found out one time I used to hit record and never stop it. And then what happens is if you have an issue or there's a power outage on the drone or you forget to stop recording, that data is corrupted. Yeah, but you know that what the bigger happen. problem is? People will take their their card out of the drone, they'll put it in the computer. They'll pull video, you know, they'll copy video over, then they'll erase the content on the card and put it back in the drone. Mm -hmm. First off, one unnecessary step and one misstep in that whole True. procedure. The True. unnecessary step is erasing those images on the card because the proper step to follow is whenever you put a card back in a drone, reformat it because that's going to protect the file allocation table and yep. prevent 99% of your corruption of your that. file and, corruption. And that yes. goes for your GoPros, your Nikons, your Canons, every camera you have I you do should it. Be formatting mm -hmm. from the I camera. I do it. I and do it not on the camera. Time. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Not it's on the virtual. Yeah. 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 Look, look, I've moved cards from Nikon to Nikon bodies and have had problems. OK, uh -huh. especially based on the level of firmware that's on each camera body. OK, mm -hmm. the same thing's true with your drones. Your Mavic Air 2S might have a little quirk in it that your mini doesn't and switching cards in between it's them true. You is have fine to do it with as GoPros, long as you format everything. each card. And, and carry in one the of device. Device. in the device that you're using. In the device, in the destination device. That's when but, you Tom, format. You got to tell them also carry one of these. It's an SD card holder. What's that, a purse? Make it with you. you never know if something funky is going to happen to an SD card. And you may need a new one. Like when I use my I, GoPros, yeah. when I fly FPV, I have two SD cards in each of them, but I have spares here. Um, as you see, this is my Basher um, GoPro. And this is the one I take care of. You understand? So, so but, the, <laughs> the, the... How many SD cards do you have? Well, me, I carry a lot. No, myself, you have. So. You have. Herman has more than I do. Herman's got about twenty of them. And <laughs> and as Tom, as, as as Tom said, the cards go for the camera. So make sure if you do have that card holder, you have a yep. way of knowing which one goes in your GoPro and which one goes in your drone, yeah. Yeah. so you don't mm -hmm. switch it up when you need a backup. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you just lost all that great footage. You wasted your day. Oh, I, I have I have all good. my my backup cards separated. For the, yeah, GoPro, exactly for the Air 2S, yeah. for the Phantom, yeah. they all separated right. and they all in their own little private little case. So yeah. I don't mix them up because, you know, the way I move, sometimes yeah, I, Bob, some I of my better shots, be I, I get them on the run. You know, I'm running around with my family or whatever, and I just stop and go. I don't have time to be like, oh, which one was it again? The one on the left side or the right yeah. side? You know what no, I mean? So the cameras in Ray, the I, I would yeah. say yeah. I... I, you know, Ray asked the question, on, okay, man. isn't it true that the SD card will run out of room? Okay, well, let me explain something. Today, I, I got to be totally honest with you. If you're flying with less than 128 gig cards, uh, you know, uh, I'm a guy who's very conservative about how many images to put on a card and all, all that. Right. But 
if you're flying with, with less than 128 gig card today, it doesn't make any sense. And if you do have a 128 gig card, uh, if you're shooting four or five batteries worth of video on that one drone, you're, you're, you're not going to fill it up. You're not right. going to fill it up. Right. Okay? Exactly. And That's even so, hours of 4K footage. Listen, I've been using shooting the Air for, 2S. First off, you got eight batteries, okay? Or nine batteries to shoot two hours worth of 4K footage. Well, I mean, well, even Tom. if you're shooting double images, JPEG and DNG, and all mm-hmm. of that, a 128 card is going to be more than enough. Yeah. But the um, other thing, guys, you got to check in is... 5K. I'm using 5K on dude, my Air dude, 2S. And first I off... Don't. I have plenty of 5K, 8K, none of that freaking interests me. I'll tell you why. Okay? Nobody's watching it in 5K or 8K. Most no, but I'm saying stuff I do it for cropping okay? reasons. I'm watching I understand it. that completely. <laughs> but it's also overhead that you have to maintain a mm-hmm. sufficient video capability or GPU capability. Yeah, I can but, play 5K. But, yeah, but the... You're not seeing 5K not the, on your not screen. the average. Oh, I know that. I know You're not this. Seeing 5K. That's okay. And, and, oh, I know. And the I don't thing even is, have a 5K so, screen. So if if we go to the room and mill and say, hey, what kind of, you know, what are they going to do with the with the Mavic 3? You know, I want 8K video. And, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Honestly, I want faster. I want 4K 120. I that's, want that's exactly I want more right. processing capability. I want a higher bit rate. I want a higher dynamic range. And the only way you're going to get me any of that is is with a larger processor. Right. Is that what Corey Mano says? Is it it the block size, the drone camera versus the camera versus the computer? I've never formatted on a device, LOL, with no issues. Only on the device. Yeah, Corey Mano. Uh, 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 Best recommendation I can make is only format the card when it's in the destination device. Because that's the only way to ensure that the file allocation table is virgin and and respective to that device, and and that's the number one reason. Exactly. If you see, that's whenever you does. buy whenever you buy a memory card from SanDisk inside the packaging, that was one of my previous tool tips. Betty? Remember, you get a you get a a, a a license key for recovery software. That recovery software only does one thing. It rebuilds the file allocation table. Mm -hmm. That's all it does. Okay. And because that is the number one reason for a corrupted card. You format it in device X, but you shot your images in device Y. And that's why you get screwed. So best advice, don't get screwed. Always just make (laughs) it a a habit to format in the destination device. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, give me give me bit rate, man. Give me give me higher dynamic range. But again, right, the only right. way you're like going to you get said, me that, 4K Matt, at one, the only like way you you're going to get me my 4K 120 higher bit yeah, range, more dynamic range, is to give hey, me a big bigger Matt. processor. Bigger give me a bigger sensor, yeah. right? Yeah, bigger sensor on that. I right. See, okay. I'm big saying Matt. I see everybody talking about the three Pro or whatever it's going to come out next. It doesn't really. It's not enticing right now because. Of course, you're, you're, you're an FPV flyer now. Just admit it. <laughs> I'm on the dark side, <laughs> like my boy Matt Northeast on the dark side of things. Uh-huh. We need uh, we're possessed. But, um, you know, the Air 2S is, is, is enough right now. I'm sure Air 2S if, is you, have, if you have camera. the um, if you have the two pro, but anything like if, say they came out with the three pro and they put, like you said, 8K and all or 6K per se. A lot of these people are going to jump on that bandwagon. And then put that information in their computer and their computer is going to have a heart attack. And then they're going to be like, I can't see anything. I can't, this thing is jumping. Uh-huh. My software can't handle that's it. That's why no, the, the fly more combo. It. But that's Stevie. That's why the fly more combo should come with a new Dell computer. Exactly. Okay? Or something like <laughs> a freaking a video. Or card. at least. Oh, like video like card. Video Please card. give me a video yeah. card and a decent uh and a you see what, Eddie, and a you see the biggest you, you see the I biggest I lie processor in your computer, that's all. Eddie, why are you even lying to yourself like that? Eddie, Eddie says not I'm not buying any more drones. I, I know his fingers are crossed hey, Eddie, back Eddie, when he texts that. Sh- Guys, be careful. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie's wife might be standing behind them right now. Uh, yeah. oh, huh. We so agree with you, Eddie. We're not going to buy any more rides. Frying pan, yeah. All right. You got it, Eddie. You're right. Listen, He's got his fingers crossed. 
it it doesn't I, I haven't even watched any of these leaked videos and 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 all that stuff about the three pro because to me it's like i have enough right now you know i'm just You're doing gonna have YouTube the camps that, that say like that. they're not gonna buy it you have I the think, camps that can't wait to buy it because they've been holding out for guys the I Mavic 2 Pro is three freaking years old. That's ancient in DJI speak. I think we did right? a lot more think about talking it. about not talking about talking about it. Well, I'll tell you this. Than, than I'll tell you this. Did about talking about guys, it. I'm downsizing. If there's <laughs> any interest, I send me a message. I'm selling my Phantom 4 Pro. It's uh-huh. not a V2. I'm selling my Mavic 2 Pro. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I already wow. sold a mini. I'm downsizing oh. because I, I'm I don't want to carry this, you know, pack you all the, the stuff mini? up. And it's sitting. It's no, I already sold the mini. Oh, okay. The mini I sold for three hundred bucks. Okay, Good. but uh, with, yeah, uh, with five it. batteries and everything Good. else. So the technology. If anybody's interested, fast. reach out. I have a uh, Crystal Sky monitor that's just collecting dust right now. So if you're a Phantom Four flyer, a V2 flyer, looking for a Oh, 2000 sure, yeah. nit monitor. I, I have it available. It's only collecting dust. So make me a make me a legitimate offer, and you'll be a new owner. Hey, Andy, uh, what's up, man? I got him, Matt. I got him, Matt. Uh, you know what it is, Matt? Head. I got the big move going right now, so it's just hey, George, I hate to up, see man? it just sit there and grow old. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> listen, I I, I'm I have keeping to, man. I'm keeping the Phantom 4 Pro. Hey, what's up, George? Um, Hope all is air- well over there with El Spankhead. The He's air- asking him to say hi to his dad, George. Okay. So, so what's up, George? Hope all is hey, well up, on George? that side of the world. Hey, George. Hi, you welcome from you. New York. How are you doing? Welcome Big from hello. New York City. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, he flies in some nice places, too. El Spankhead. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He does. You saw I the video stuff, with him man. and um Geek Spawner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went out. <laughs> Looked like they. So had a good your dad, time. your dad George has a lot to be proud of. Watching some of your stuff, man. Some oh, yeah. cool stuff, dude. Super talented. Agree, hey, happy seventy ninth. Happy seventy ninth, George. Yes, seventy oh, ninth. Yes. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. God bless, bro. That's what's up right there. Um. We hey uh hey hey El Smackhead, yeah. you sure you don't want to buy your father a drone for his birthday? I, I you know <laughs> I guess I'm on the market. <laughs> if you're willing, Tom, if you're willing to ship to I think New Zealand or Australia. Yeah, I'm sorry, that, that definitely would be an extra cost. Okay, so <laughs> and I don't think oh man, customs. Yeah, I guys, uh your best bet is local pickup, otherwise live close. Okay, local mm-hmm. pickup, meaning continental US. Basically, <laughs> within within the tri-state area, if he wants local pickup, well, tri-state area gets a get, gets a quick and dirty price out the door. Okay, there you go. This is true. No shipping and handling. Okay, and uh, you and you and I will both un- agree that Uncle Sam got paid. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I just I'm, I got to downsize. That's I, I can't right have now. I, I can't take all this with me. I can always, you know, when I get out there, I'll have more room for more new stuff. That's all. Well, okay. Tom, got to get rid of your old stuff before you get your new stuff. Well, Tom, you planning on moving how soon? Uh, we're hoping to be out there this fall, full time. So, wow. you know, uh, only a few months ahead of us. Uh, so it's uh stress really sucks <laughs> you know just trying to get it all together and get everything done and you know i got a house uh here with uh 33 years worth of memories in it uh yeah you know Don't and like i got RC. kids and i got my kids telling me they want this and that want that but they still haven't gotten their rear ends here to get that stuff so you know <laughs> i told them it's between them and an estate sale i'm gonna have sooner than later so they better get here and claim what's up drone want. psych i see you in there too Okay. I'm yeah, trying to keep up with the chat. chat. Yeah. Yeah, but um, you know what, Tom? Well, you know how we always talk about these drone deliveries and stuff like that. Well, yeah. apparently, I saw this article talking about um, coming soon. Own your own <laughs> drone delivery mailbox. So you remember when you were talking about how these drones are going to have to have some place to deliver these packages when they deliver them? 
when they uh-huh. talk about now you can own your own drone delivery mailbox, and it sounds a little far fetched, but it's a, a Chicago based uh, startup, Valkyrie, oh, a drone so, uh, delivery solution company, is working on making it a reality for people in the in the country uh, within the year. You know, for just under fifteen hundred dollars. So there was a, a video <laughs> that shows under. how it works just like the uh you is know like this the video when, box. Herman, is this video any good on that page? Yeah. Okay. It I'm shows it. uh how the mailbox actually works when it when it when you put the packages in and it's yeah. it's able to it knows whose package is what and it picks up the package and it will deliver the package to a similar mailbox and you can get your package out of the mailbox, just like the UPS one. And it, as you see right here on the side, it actually loads it up into the drone, I'm guessing. Yeah, it, it's and the that's landing a six gear. cell, one, two, three, four, that's a six cell battery. Interesting. You could probably well, get some decent speed with that also. Well, if you if you notice that it it's, it's capable of getting packages from even the drone that has uh you know the the the, the, the line that drops the with the, the was that a winch on the uh thing with yeah. the line yeah down. basically yeah. yeah yeah they 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 can even it can even the receive delivery packages pod. from one of those type of uh, well, I, I'm checking out this device this is my first time watching the video I, I noticed these arms that slid actually line the box yeah, up perfectly box under up. Yeah. yeah so there look you go. here's where this makes sense okay so so you know when 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 I first heard I had to pick up my Amazon package at 7-Eleven, I was like, I kept on asking <laughs> the clerk, where's my package? Mm-hmm. Not right. here, outside, outside, right? So, you know, now it's a common thing. If I know I'm not going to be home for a delivery, I haven't Let go me to an Amazon drop away. spot, right? So now we accept that. Well, the Maybe. same thing here. I mean, look, uh, say say a large apartment structure, this would make sense for Oh, it's a repositioning system, actually. Yes. Okay, so I see. Take the yeah. box and in. then it can deliver right. it to the Put proper the box into the, the proper box in the right. But right. also After think if you run a whole and everything. Think about this. Say you got a, a, a very successful Etsy business, mm-hmm. right? Right. Uh, this works both ways, by the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's just like I have an, a FedEx drop box that my front door will say. Same thing. So true. I load That's it up, true. it takes off, it drops it at the depot, which is more centrally located, and then it goes out from there. So this is last mile delivery. Remember that we've said oh, last, mm-hmm. it, last it's mile of delivery is the most expensive leg of delivery. Yes. So yeah. That's where drones really can make a big difference economically. Is because well, drones last mile of delivery. Says, real quick, Tom. Drones yeah. 86 says, but the big question is, could drones drive faster than a truck? I would love to see that. In actuality, the uh, drone welcome to New York drive, City. It, the drone cannot drive faster than a truck, but the drone can to. fly in a straight line where the trucks cannot. As the what's the saying? As the crow flies, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't so need to fly to take, faster. You have to take it that just into needs account. to go in a more direct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever driven one of and these? And welcome to New York. Trucks? Yeah. No, no, I've, I've only driven. I've only driven roll-off might be able to move roll-off back. containers. Yeah, I've driven yeah. those before. That, With that's the maintenance fun. on some of these trucks, I think the drone can fly faster. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and definitely in this city. I mean, you, you know, uh, people flinch when I tell them our speed limit in the city is twenty-five miles an hour. Hey, what's up, okay? Mike? Fly zone drone. Now the hey, rest listen. of you is outside in New York City. You're going. What are you people? Crawl everywhere you go. At 25 Don't miles forget an hour. to check out the okay? Fly for Fun Let show. me tell you, if you can drive at 25 miles an hour in this city, you're doing good. Okay? <laughs> we have uh, significant traffic congestion here where I drive, when I drive to work in the morning, I'm driving six miles. And it takes me 55 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. I agree with what you're saying, miles. Drones 86. Okay? It says one truck carries hundreds of packages. The, the, mm-hmm. the, but your question was, would the drone be faster than the truck? If we're talking one package per one Look. package ratio from point A to point B, 
More than likely, yes, drones. because a drone can go up several hundred feet and make a straight line there where the truck is zigzagging and turning. Well, not and only stopping. that. Look, drones are not replacing trucks. No, no they're not no, replacing they're delivery impossible. trucks. Impossible. Okay, ships did not replace delivery trucks. We we also have. You know, it's multi-mode transportation. Yeah, Your package yeah, coming true. from China probably uses every freaking method of transportation yes. on demand today, right? Mm-hmm. Especially if it it's goes in electronics. a truck. It goes in a truck to the to, to the dock. Okay, yeah, it gets loaded by a crane on a ship. Slow boat from China. Mm-hmm. Okay, makes it here. Winds up, or likelihood, on another truck to go to the rail yards. For a long haul by oh, rail yeah. to be taken off yeah. by a truck. Else, Meghead, you and your you father have a great evening. In a van. Yes. So, yeah. Have a great good night, one, George. George. Hey, have a good, good one, night. George. All good the night, best, George. man. Many more to come. Have a good yes. one, man. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I it is crazy know. that kind of drive, and that's that's the stress I don't need anymore. But I, as <laughs> me out there, fifty-five minutes out <laughs> where I'm moving to probably means I've covered close to eighty-five miles. <laughs> okay, so it's a huge difference. You'll be in another state. I'll be in another state. Okay, in fifty-five minutes. Yeah, uh, but that's the traffic you get in urban areas. Uh, now, is this minutes, destined for urban, urban areas? To get to Jersey. Well, we've also said. Remember, we've also <laughs> talked about UPS, right, Herman? Where you, yeah. a UPS truck will go to a central location, and maybe a couple of drones will fly out of the top of it. <laughs> no, okay, yeah. Ray, yeah. you're right about that. Well, at right? least one. Right. Yeah. Never come via drone. Yeah. yeah. And if it did, uh, you don't want that package. It, we'll probably shoot it down. We'll shoot it. it. <laughs> we'll shoot it down. <laughs> Absolutely. So say goodbye to your packages. Yeah. Can you imagine the drone delivering junk mail? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. Well, that's worth shooting that's down. That's isn't worth it, shooting, right? Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'll be waiting. Yeah, that's <laughs> worth shooting down. That's when you need one of those Get things that fire the bees. Junk mail. Yeah. <laughs> the, dr- the junk mail drone. Will not make it to the Bronx. No, that'll be a new <laughs> ordinance. Okay, to ban junk mail by drones. Go to your mailbox. Start the hey, petition now. No problem, I'll smack it. Bells and like twelve pieces of junk mail. You know how they have <laughs> apps now? You could download apps like Sprint has his own app uh, that it will tell you if it's uh, uh, what do you call it? One of those sales calls. It, it gives you a right heads here. up as it's ringing. So imagine yeah. you had a device that let you know that's a junk mail drone. And the drone yeah, yeah, makes a yet turn and flies you away. Yeah, time to aim and everything. <laughs> I'd be like, junk mail drone. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine? Did it, you know what'll happen, right? There'll be a special law put out for, for, for taking out junk mail drones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything that's How many paid- packages would it take to pay off for at least $20,000 drone? A $20,000 drone? And that isn't including maintenance costs. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, it depends. You see, uh, you know, guys, you're looking, about, no, you, you got no, a short sighted view of this. Right. Okay? Because we, we talk about drones delivering, uh, you know, medical samples, you know, blood samples and, and, and body and parts. And What's up? Like that. Good morning, they, Rob. One delivery, 20,000, you went over. They're saving lives, basically. But we're not talking to, like, it's it's we're talking about oh, a lot look, right now. We're look, talking about look, a lot because we we're not just talking about uh like Amazon packages. No, you know, no, like no, no, like no, some of these no. places in, in some of these areas that you cannot you'll be driving for days cutting through these jungles and stuff. A drone True. just go oh, boom, drop off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, especially it, right now with where infrastructure you cannot compare, is you cannot compare right. a truck trying to deliver a uh, very important medicine that's time no. you know sensitive. To a drone delivering now, delivering blood blood products to a a, a female suffering a, from you know a separated placenta or something like that where she desperately right, needs right. those blood products to where they can fly that a, a close to a hundred miles to her within a short period of time where it could take a truck several days to get there where she would not yeah. survive. Right. Zip okay? line. look at uh, zipline. It's already been, been doing proven it for years. There, there, there's case studies already on this. There's proven there, there's been articles in the Journal of American Medicine on this. In mm-hmm. fact, featuring Zipline. I've so, quoted them in a couple of lectures I've given. I gave a lecture uh, right before the pandemic at uh, North Shore University uh, Medical Center 
uh, at Nassau University Medical Center, and again, another one at Northwell in You're Manhattan right about, that, Michael. Uh, about using drones for, uh, <laughs> for pre-hospital care. Right. And, right. and you know, this is, this is where, what's that price tag, right? Now, now remember, as that last mile delivery starts to, to funnel down to the consumer, right. don't think these companies are going to do it at a loss, okay? So if you're right. worried about what, when the break-even point in on that drone is, they've already figured that out, okay? They're not going to use drones where it's not economical. Right, right. Uh, but yes, I agree. Uh, delivering a defibrillator to a patient that needs to be cardioverted versus delivering a package of tampons, uh, you know, with a CVS order is different. I get that. <laughs> but don't worry that CVS order over time. Hey, if it saves me getting three miles worth of receipt from CVS. Mm -hmm. OK, I'll take <laughs> that. Agreed, man, I'll for a stick that. of gum. Okay? You get enough, enough paper Christ. to wrap your arm. Well, truthfully speaking. And, but they won't give me a plastic bag. Gonna, OK, gonna, give me a bag made out of paper. Or biodegradable bag, and stop, and stop giving me receipt. a 10-foot receipt. <laughs> yeah. I, I, get, I get what he's saying because, you know, when we look at, like, take, for instance, like, when they talked about uh, uh, Kroger and we talked about uh, them delivering <laughs> Coca-Cola infused with coffee to people yeah. in Coffee County um, to, to promote drone delivery, it's about 25 pounds of, gro of groceries is not much. So is it is it cost effective? Yeah, I kind of understand where he's coming from with that, but you know, it may not be for everyone. <laughs> no, know? but if it's cool, I'm going to try it. Okay, right, <laughs> that, right. That's all of us here, right? <laughs> but no, no, that, oh, five dollars surcharge. The drones delivering? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll know, see this. Uh, but no, no, no. Really, all I know is it's going to be real Kroger's horrible. Kroger's not going to do it unless it improves their bottom line, not take away from their bottom line. Yeah, okay. it's, it's going to be it's really problem. bad going through getting your 107 and going through everything that you went through and still hanging out on the side of the Chinese restaurant with the guy on the scooter smoking a cigarette on the break. <laughs> but the big mittens. The new scooters are going to be cheap. Yeah. 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 Big, yeah. big mittens. Big mittens, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plastic <laughs> bag mittens. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all the plastic bags went. Uh, what was that guy, the guy, guy, who, the guy, guy. The guy who clicked his fingers and everybody disappears? They got those <laughs> mittens on the scooters. <laughs> the big glove. <laughs> <laughs> you guys in New York will understand these guys. <laughs> Delivery guys in New York, they got giant mittens on the, the tape to their hands. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Well, they, uh, Stevie. They're better than the post office, man. They actually oh, do man. deliver in snow, sleet, <laughs> rain, and hail. Okay? Yeah, you know yeah, what? yeah. And your food will be still warm. Well, when did that yeah. stop? The post office is when unreliable. When did that stop, man. yo? I, I, we we, had uh, we don't want to get office. political here, Herman, so we're going to move on. <laughs> okay. Move so, on uh, to another topic, okay? <laughs> about the next story. Uh, okay, well, so, we'll, yeah. we'll talk and, about and I wonder, in the post office. I, I think the next story is a plant, by the way. <laughs> I'm just coming out in front of it. That's uh -oh. all. I think uh -oh. it's a plant. I already I really know what do. it is. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm looking in the I'm, I'm looking in. A, I'm, I'm ignoring y'all. I'm looking in other yeah. windows. I'm trying to get a picture yeah, of okay. the delivery guy with the He's, bike. Yeah, okay, He's looking at the oh, Robin, yeah, okay, Robin Hood account while we talk. <laughs> I know he is. I know he is. What are you talking about? <laughs> the and, they're, and they're firefighting. Who? Um, Who? Never heard oh, of them. Oh, oh. <laughs> what are they trading at today? Just mention it twice. I got you to mention it twice, Lawrence. Again, profit sharing program, Lawrence, please. Okay. Kick the old man in for a dime, will you? Okay. There you go. The firefighting drone. <laughs> you guys don't just can't. The official test phase. Yeah, this Chinese company that uh, Lawrence is promoting, he has. Yeah. Oh. Official. <laughs> You know, they're one of the leaders when it comes to uh, drones, they say, and uh, the capability of, of, of carrying passengers and cargo. Well, they have announced another first where they've uh, passed in a, an evaluation, a technical evaluation. On a firefighting on, drone. On their, their EH-216F, which is an AAV, an uh, autonomous aerial vehicle. I have so video right here. drone is built for firefighting. Actual and they, video they right here. They take out fires and they, you know, they, 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 they're, they're one step closer 
to make it in a reality on the, in, in the firefighting in China. Yeah. Um, Not here, but in China. <clears throat> right. So they will so be using their, their passenger, their two passenger drones, possibly to help to fight fires. I could see this happening where a ladder well, can't get to. That model yeah. was designed for uh, urban urban uh, fire. And, Let me uh, see if I can uh, get to it. Oh, right. well, because it can reach certain heights and get into buildings and, and stuff like that. It, it actually shoots these, uh, you'll see here in the video. Yeah, well, they load they load these containers so, up with some so, type of so foam. So basically, it, it's, it's a, a projectile. No, well, there's a couple of ways you can do this, right? Uh, there is what's known as a triple F, aqueous film forming foam. Okay, right. usually that's used on uh, uh, liquid uh, combustible products uh, right. because it's used to smother, and that's right. what you're doing is you're you're basically trying to put a seal between the oxygen, okay, and the accelerant. Uh, okay. You know, but there are other things. Like, you, you can today, right on Amazon, uh, you can buy, in fact, uh, I can I can <laughs> share the screen. In AFO, uh, AFO sells uh, these uh, fireballs. Go ahead. Uh, okay. So. Uh, oh, yes, I have seen hold them. Hold on. I'll, I have I'll, seen I'll them. share the Those screen balls, yes. real quick. Uh, I have but seen basically, those fireballs. Uh, well, basically, what that. this is, is uh, this is a, uh, a suppressant within a coating. And you can actually buy these and put them in your home. You can put one in your kitchen on okay. a rack. And if flames and heat to a certain degree will cause that the, the coating on that to melt. To melt and there's a and little bust. propellant in there that will expand that suppressant and smother the fire. Right. Or you don't, can take they react, that ball, don't, don't they react, Tom, to air? They, they uh, no, no, no. These, no, no. These, these basically. Uh, there's a couple of different ways that they work, but okay. but some departments use these and they carry these. So if you have a car fire, the first thing you do is after you break the window open, you toss one in the the car, and that will suppress the fire inside the cab of the car. You can okay. also do the same thing under the hood once you pry the hood open. Okay. Remember, you're introducing more oxygen. So you yourself should not be prying the hood open of a car that's on fire. You're going to introduce right. oxygen. And if you're not of wearing course, bunker gear with self-contained breathing apparatus, you're probably going to sear your lungs and uh, that'll be all she wrote. So, But uh, a trained firefighter lifting the hood can throw one of these right under the hood. This thing will burst upon contact with the flame and suppress the fire. So... Think about these in smaller balls being propelled into the fire, right? right. Now, the they problem did. I have with a device hanging in the sky, okay, with shooting any type of liquid, you are going to be severely limited to the carrying capability of that, the container on the drone. Now, the, the inverse of that is to have a hose, a tethered hose feeding that. That's what I've uh, seen in the past. Okay, the hose here's yeah. the drone, uh, and it wasn't a passenger drone. It was so. Let me explain the, the weight of a hose. Okay, so our firefighters will carry a, a fifty pound, uh, a fifty foot. Tom, you got to stop hose. sharing. I can't see the chat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to take you out of the share. Hold on Your one second. Wow. There we go. Stop sharing. Uh, oh, there you know, we go. Firefighters carry roll ups of hose upstairs with them. Okay, because we have hey, standpipe. We have standpipe situations where we can feed a building from a ground floor standpipe and feed it all the way up the stairwells, okay? So we can hook up hoses along the way. If that was to. one of the most amazing things in construction. And, and then the bigger problem is don't think you're going to hang a hose off the side of a building <laughs> by a drone True. and charge it with water or some kind of suppressant. It'll displace uh, the drone instantly. <laughs> well, forget that. Uh, Have a good not, night, Not many strong. drones that can carry. Thanks for coming. That thank you. Can carry. Now imagine it's. Imagine we'll just go ten stories high, with a charged hose line of over a hundred feet. Uh, guys, a uh, quick calculation, by the way, mm -hmm. at eight point eight pounds of water. Okay, times the length of that hose times the gallons per minute okay um guys but uh, we might be talking about a couple of thousand pounds 
Okay. That's, yeah, that's I, a lot don't of think about to, it. to try and now, suspend. Now, think about it. When firefighters are on a hose line, how many firefighters are on that hose? Anywhere from three to four. I was going to say okay. about four. On an interior attack, initial entry, two members in, one on forcible entry. But you better have a couple of bodies on that hose. Otherwise, you're going to be launched. Okay? Right. So think about now a drone handling that kind of inertia coming through from a two and a half inch hose right. through a TFT nozzle at a pressure of at least 2,000 PSI. Not what happening. Happens. I see this being used to fire propellants into or even to fire percussion to break windows mm -hmm. to aid in venting. Okay. But I don't see them shooting water or even yeah, AFFF, out, uh, aqueous film, falling foam fire. into it. Yeah. Only on a building, maybe like what they just showed there in that video, unless yeah. they, ev they evolved this thing even more. Like I said, it's just one step closer to them getting this thing done. Oh, no doubt about it. There, there's and, opportunities you know, here. Being as that, that drone right, normally functions as a passenger vehicle, they are using it autonomously. So you can use more of the passenger section for tank space. Well, yeah. Well, no, no. I wouldn't go tank. I would go, I would go projectile space. Well, they have that and, on top already. Yeah. Yeah. No, they but, had it but on that's, the top I system. forget about liquid. Liquid never pays off. Water, just water alone is 8.8 .8 pounds per gallon. Okay. Now, if, if you're talking about their drone being able to carry two people, you have to, you have to guarantee that that can hold 500 pounds. Then you have to add a safety factor to that. True. So True. you got to figure that thing can hold maybe 1,200 pounds safely. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. I wouldn't displace that that weight with liquid because you won't get the bang for the buck. Well, let's talk. You about should have is topic. various projectiles for different types of situations. Hey, one look, to guys. break, one to break the glass, and and another cannon to fire uh, these suppressants suppress into that them. space. Hey guys, right? I got to get out of here okay. early tonight. That's actually, okay. I wasn't supposed to be here. Stevie was going to come in and fill in for me, but I got to get out of here now. I'm looking at the time. All okay. right. No problem, so Lawrence. You guys enjoy the rest of your stream. Everyone in the chat, be safe, fly safe, or I'll catch up with you. Don't forget to check out the Fly Zone Fly for, for fun. fun drone show. Fly for after fun this drone one show right, right after this 7 one. p.m. Eastern. That's right. Yes, right after this one. You guys yeah. have a good evening. All right. I'm out All of right, here. Lawrence. Hey, take right, care, Lawrence. Lawrence. Stay safe, bro. All right, oh, later. Yeah, so you know, yeah. uh, we got we got Lawrence's e hang mentioned in there, and he went I to mean, go cash the check. So let's, yeah, uh, he's got a. What's the next door? He, <laughs> he, he he was a little preoccupied <laughs> converting the uh, the cryptocurrency, <laughs> okay, <laughs> over onto his ATM. So, but uh, he's got to go and transfer it to his. Hey, if he's account. the first one who oh, gets your DJI, <laughs> yeah, if he gets the first DJI Mavic Three, we know something's up, bro. Yeah, yeah. Transferred the money over to his offshore account. That's it. Or his account in Panama somewhere. Oh, we see, we see a drone <laughs> similar to the one you just show. Uh, yes. Far Rockaway, just like cutting through. No, when he shows up to the next driveway. He got when his he own. shows up to the next meet in an e hang passenger. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, you sorry, I'm late. Pulling yeah, out sorry. the barbecue, the barbecue That's equipment right. out the back. Well, you know what, <laughs> Tom? This is not. You know what's going to happen? Herman's going to say, "And you forgot to pick me up." Yeah. Okay? I'm up sitting there waiting for you, and you show up on this. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know what, Tom? This is not the first one of these I've seen. Um, no, was no, that company was we were talking about? Uh, was it Stonen Hybrid? One of those companies. I think we talked about up. one. It was a hybrid Reese, one. Tell me. Almost a they year ago, firefighting drone. Yeah, yeah. it was. A, it was a hybrid, though. It wasn't yeah. a fully electric. And no, but even e even so, okay. Uh, remember that with the large water tankers that are used, whether they be Boeing seven series aircraft or AC one thirties, <laughs> right, or even helicopters. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, they're picking up a live load. Water, water is a live load. It moves on you, right? So when it's carried internal to the aircraft, it's carried in baffled tanks to limit the amount of movement. Uh, when it's slung underneath, that's a moving basket. That's usually done by helicopter, right? But remember, their inertia 
is they are moving forward. Okay. Right. They're on a flight path and moving forward. Now you're talking about a stationary drone coming up, turning, and then firing, okay, a water cannon. And, and it would have to be a water cannon. It would have to be of sufficient pressure. You're not going to launch up there and have a three-quarter inch garden hose, okay? And from 20 feet away, it doesn't reach the building, right? So it's going to have to be significant, significant right. head pressure. And what happens with significant head pressure? It's going to fire, okay? And the drone's going to go this way, okay? So, uh, well, and, like, and with the amount the of water that it can carry, it's going to, sorry to put it this way, it's going to shoot its load in no time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like what they oh. showed in the video was simple. <laughs> I was more impressed by, like, what you saying, the shooting the canister thing. <laughs> that, Boeing uh, is evil. No, I didn't say that. We, <laughs> and he just mentioned, uh, can't use Boeing. Uh, don't say that. Other creators, uh, state Boeing should be out of business. Yep. Yep. The irresponsible to say things like that. Companies are not inherently evil, Eddie, right? <laughs> People are. <laughs> okay. So, okay. you know, don't kill a company because of uh, uh, a few knuckleheads. Get rid of the knuckleheads. Isn't it yeah. the people who make the company? Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But again, remember that company also fuels economy. It also fuels a lot of workers <laughs> with integrity there. Okay. Uh, five eight cents. Got, you know what? I didn't think of that, bro. Well, you <laughs> okay. People working Without for this community, how would integrity? we go any further? Gary's engineering. <laughs> you said people working yeah. for a company with integrity no no i said look people who lack integrity are the reason oh, okay. that you have to go after these oh, companies okay. and regulate them right saying, but- the company itself is not you know to make a state somebody made a statement we won't go into somebody made a statement that boeing should be out of business because that cargo see the cargo plane crashed that was a 737 see they no, that was a 737 that's over 20-something years old. Had nothing to do with the 737 MAX 8, okay? Two different things. And, yeah, it's the, 30, the 737 MAX 8. That was a problem with some people's integrity in the Boeing company, and they recognized that, where it was marketing people pushing things because they were competing with the Airbus when the Airbus figured they could put bigger engines on their wings uh, to get better carrying capability and more economy. Okay, Boeing tried to do the same thing, except that Airbus's wings are higher, so it was easier to hang larger engines. Boeing instead turned around and angled their engines slightly to fit them underneath, and that's where they cut some corners in the training aspects of it to tell pilots, hey, your stall speed might be affected at this power level. Okay, so, you know, yes, Go after the people who created that situation. Loss no, of life is loss of life. But that's why we have the National Transportation Safety Board. Okay? Sure. But without a company like Boeing, where would aviation be today? Without a company like Airbus. And don't say, oh, they got bailed out by the U.S. You know, they should respect the money more. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what car company yeah, is. That's everybody. Only that's, that's, that's everybody. everybody. And to tell me Airbus isn't subsidized. Airbus is a U- EU subsidized corporation okay so don't don't make okay irresponsible statements that a company should put it be put out of business state that regulators need to go after the bad apples in these companies to ensure that the integrity is maintained because we get on these planes right and that's why that's why don't rail against the faa don't rail against the national transportation yeah yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, look, look, when the CEOs, the CEO, the CEOs of companies make 90 percent, 900 percent more than the average worker in the company. Things are there's problems there. Well, okay? we talked about that, Herman, yeah. we, when we were hanging out together the other day. Yeah, <laughs> We were talking about that gap in the in the in the salary. That's why we Them's and us's, right? We always have the problems that we have, but you know that's another. Yes, yeah, that's another story. That and that's a different series. We'll be having a uh, podcast about. We start another live stream called. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not fair. different channel. <laughs> different channel. <laughs> Tom's political views. Yeah, no, there's never going to be a channel throat. with Tom's political views because uh, it, we, we, none of us can stay friends. Okay. <laughs> okay not, not fit for drones. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is not the drone show show. Right. That, right, right, right. No, no, that but we'd be ripping off Ken Heron with something like that, wouldn't we? Catch us on the eleven o'clock show. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot, I'm out the loop, but okay. <laughs> Would have been the one in trouble. <laughs> what happened now? No, I said I was out the loop. I would have been in trouble. Oh, yep. Stealing ideas that I didn't even know that. Would- yeah, that's right. I think Kevin Heron did a show about not being the show on the show. Oh, okay. okay. Not yeah, not yeah typical Ken show. Heron. <laughs> not the drone show on the drone show, which is not the drone show tonight. Something like that. <laughs> wasn't well, that wasn't that when show. he brought his ex-wife on or something Welcome like that, in. Steve? Yeah, yeah. That, that, you know, he got some of his best ratings that, that night. Yeah, yeah I, well, yeah, you got a whole nother community that normally doesn't follow this, okay? Like, how's that going to go wrong, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, you pull it. Yeah, but that's, you know, that, that's just like clickbait, right? Uh, I mean, you know, we're all members of what we, we have an affectionate term for bystanders at uh, disaster situations. We call them the uh-oh squad, okay? Because right. they're always pointing, uh-oh, what's going on over there? So <laughs> I normally try to tell people that we're shooting a movie and would they like to be in the movie? And then I tell them to go up to a particular police officer or so to give them their name and everything and tell them they want to be on the list. And then we sit back and we watch them go bother this one police officer, okay, <laughs> while he tries to figure out what the heck is going on. You have to have some fun. Okay? They want to be on the list. Yeah, yeah. You send them over, say you want to be on the list uh-huh. uh, for the latest Die Hard movie that we're shooting right now. Die Hard be an extra. Yeah. Die Hard 18, New York City Comes Alive. <laughs> okay you gotta jump off a housing project in brooklyn you know what <laughs> well big um, explosion behind you no you know what they used to do to, to like uh the, the first year apprentice like when he's still green he's on probation when they're putting in the, those the, the fixes that have the u-bulbs in them they terrorize the poor child yeah they'll 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 send him to the foreman to get the three-quarter bulb bender so they can bend the straight bulbs into you just to put them into the to put them in. <laughs> to put That's them terrible. In the That's yeah, I, I, I was a, uh, I was a corpsman when I was in the navy, and uh, so they didn't, guys didn't f with me because I was the guy who gave you a shot or gave you a penicillin when you came back with fucking syphilis from your, from your shore leave. Okay, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, know plenty of times when the new boots, the new <laughs> boots would come on board ship, you'd hear somebody said, "Hey, boot, get over here. You got to go down." Okay, to to the machine shop down below and get a steam fitters punch or get a boiler maker's punch and and let them know you need a right handed punch. The poor sucker would come up his his arm would be like, oh, man, you know, or a bucket of steam. Go down and get a bucket of steam right away. Get it up here. ASAP. A bucket of steam. Yeah, the bucket of steam. So the guy shows up and you go, I didn't ask for a bucket of water. Go back down and get me a bucket of steam. Okay. So, and you know what? There are kids that would just run up and down the ladder real freaking day long. Okay. Kept them in shape, right? Yeah. Kept them in shape, but you knew, <laughs> you knew what you were dealing with. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You get, you get separate so those you want with you and those you know you're going to have to drag along. Okay. <laughs> and that's why they always get the green guy to go for coffee order because they want to see how well he pays attention to detail. And if he'll bring back exactly what you Well, he's less likely to spit in your coffee, too, than the guy you just pissed off the other day by putting (laughs) him on the bench, okay? So always send the new guy the coffee, okay? Yeah, we had a guy that used to mess up and then go back out and mess up the fix on the mess up. Michael used to do it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. The bucket of steam. The bucket of steam. The guy that's passing that to the next generation. Each generation is doing it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing. We, we're terrible in that way, right? We have to, you know, we, we, we swore we'd never do that to the, the newbies that came on, what they did to us. And the second that newbie walks in through the door, you all bets are off, man. Hey, it's just yeah. a little fun. I mean, it's, it's not like a- you know, we, we, we have anti-hazing policies on the job now because idiots go too far, which, you know, stuff like, you know, uh, that first time you step in your, your boots or something like that and they're filled with water. Uh, you know, what's the uh, but, uh, you know, you know, guys and girls go a little too far with stuff. And that's why that's why they have, have policies and procedures. OK, that's why I call it a very expensive adult daycare center. Mm, okay. and procedures. 
no, I policies don't. and procedures because you have really knuckleheads know. and it's who's fighting over uh, the nap time blanket and who didn't get their cookies with their milk this morning. Okay. And that's, that's what I hear. That's what I hear. No, there's no okay. hazing in the drone community. So you guys are all welcome to all the meetups and nobody will send you for Absolutely. coffee. Absolutely. And uh, no, well, of course, wait a second. Okay. There is no hazing unless Courtney Darlington is there. <laughs> and then if you put uh if you if you put your goggles on, he's probably coming up and taking doing some photo bombs. I'm okay? sorry to tell you, but he didn't start that. No, no, <laughs> it's I, been I happening know. to me since I got the damn FPV. I mean, since you got the goggles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, we all have a picture right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have my Courtney picture now. So I uh, all thank you got Denise. me. Uh thanks to me. Um damn, few people got me. When yeah. you're flying, I mean, you're not even. I hear them. I heard the giggling. You know, yeah. you hear them, but there's, there's nothing you can do about you, it. Yeah, you. You. The only thing you can do, and, and I've done this, okay, because the giggling started right away when I took off. So what I did was I turned my drone around so I could see what the he, FE was doing. He, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, that was about the only way. But if you're, you know, if you're pretty far down on your run. You're yeah, screwed nah, because I there's was, nothing you can do at that point, okay? Don't you got to get missed. for, those, for the yeah. goggles some cockeyed eye stickers to put on the foot. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah in the the you like. well, well, again, Courtney. Courtney li li lives <laughs> the dream with his uh, with his skins, right? What is he uh, into stormtroopers these days? So he's... All right, Bob. Thanks for okay. checking in, man. Take, take care, yeah. Bob. Always a pleasure, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I was gone. I, I didn't catch no behind the scenes. <laughs> But what's funny yeah. is that um, somebody captured a little bit of behind the scenes with their camera drone. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if it was Tony or was it Audley, one of them. But you see them all getting in position, you know, yeah. around yeah. me. Meanwhile, I'm like, in, like I'm in an intense You're in the zone, bro. The, the adrenaline is rushing. My knee was shaking a little bit. And I'm just trying to get into these little spots. And, you know. You know, I, I'm still, I, I would say I'm still in the very beginning stages with the DJI FPV drone mm -hmm. because huge gaps seem like little gaps for me. You know, like right. I went yeah, between yeah, yeah. the yeah, bridge yeah, I know. and it was like a park light pole, but I know my drone is so small and I must have had at least three, four feet on both sides, but it just doesn't. You know, I still feel like I'm very close, and I'm you, the thing you is flinch. Ringing. Yeah, flinch I'm like little, I'm like right? moving my head, like yeah, I fit. And 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 the thing is, is that you're going sixty, maybe seventy miles per hour 70 plus miles an hour. Yeah, sure. You can't bail. There's no bail. No, no, no. Yeah, you yeah, cannot no, bail oops. once you once you uh how you can say it uh once you in that get going, you gotta go. Yeah, you can't just like you know like a camera drone. Oh no, nah, I don't fit, and just go go somewhere else <laughs> like you, not when you do no, 70 miles per hour yeah, you gotta you don't do that you, once you commit you have to go and you have to make sure you make it through or you're going to be driving around looking for parts <laughs> so so remember that when you look at a traffic signal right and it turns yellow mm -hmm. you can usually tell exactly how long it will be yellow because it's usually the first number in the speed limit so if you have a 25 mile an hour speed limit, it's going to stay yellow for two seconds. You got a 50 mile an hour speed limit. It's going to stay yellow for five seconds. Your drone is doing 70 miles an hour. Okay. Yep. Yes. It's a lot lighter than a car. It ain't stopping in seven feet. So you better be careful. Right. Right. And then the perspective. And you can't make a change at that point because it's going to slide. Right. The perspective on the camera, you might be kind of far away, but you can't, you don't really realize it. You understand, like you might be able to bail what I'm saying, uh, what I'm trying to get at. You might be far enough that you could just bail and just go around. But for some reason, I feel like it's just better to go for the shot. Yeah. You know, then try to bail and maybe you could bail because I don't want that. Maybe, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm going to just make it work. And okay. I was flying uh, right. with, with uh, Herman and Lawrence a few days ago. As a matter of oh. fact, last week around this around on the Wednesday. And um, I made like this crazy. I went under, under a highway. I was underneath, above. There was an empty, totally empty park that I don't know. If these guys showed me some empty. <laughs> it was a park with nobody at on a beautiful day. But that's, that's besides the fact. So I flew under 
went under the overpass and I and I broke a right turn and I oh, tried to go under the bridge over the under the water. But my drone was way too high. Like I was going into the structure itself that was holding the, you know, part of the bridge, basically. Right. And I did this dip, man. I, I got so much almost crashes. I, I think I'll make a compilation soon on YouTube. <laughs> Look out for the compilation because, man, if you see the video, you can see the bolts that held that that structure together. <laughs> That's how close I came from yeah. crashing. Yeah. Well, Stevie, think about it, right? See the camera the video when, you when you, while you're flying. Yeah, when yeah, you start, I need to start doing that. See when me. you start Thank driving, right, and you go down that narrow street with cars parked on both sides, and you're like, oh, man, you know, it, because you what, what do you have a tendency of doing, like looking side to side? But now as a seasoned driver, you visualize. When, when we te- teach emergency vehicle driving, that's what we teach them. Visualize where you're going, okay? Yeah. Look down the block. You'll fit down the block. Look through and ahead of the double park cars. You'll fit through. Yeah. But look side to side at the last minute. And what do drivers do? They roll one way or the other. And that's never the way. The same thing with drones, man. Visualize your path and stay on the path. Right, Stevie? Don't change your mind at the last minute and think you're going to have a high level of success. Yeah. Eddie's but Eddie's breaking balls. <laughs> he said <laughs> Herman's ready to jump in his next story. <laughs> we yeah, have, we're not letting Herman have, have any next stories, stories today, today bro. We got stories that <laughs> yeah, oh, you right know, it's Sunday. This, this guy's a freaking <laughs> taskmaster. <laughs> freaking sends us. I, I mean, I'm getting shit at fucking 1 a.m. in the morning. What's wrong with you, Herman? Okay. Well, parking in my neighborhood is bad, so <laughs> So Herman sits out there in a double park car, sending us food. So sometimes Thank what you. happens is I have to park and then come upstairs and get on the computer. Like, you uh, know how many guys live stream my catch on the phone? And I'm on yeah. the phone, I'm like either driving almost all, all, all the live streams I, I do from the I phone. Get, I get out of practice at 6.30, 7 o'clock. Dude, yeah. that's New York City living, okay? Right, Herman? That's New York City living. I drive home. Mm-mm. Stevie, Yo, I pulled one this morning, Stevie. Sure. So I got a problem with our street sweepers here. Our street sweepers here, if you sweep out the leaves to the street, spreaders. they go around them, okay? <laughs> because they don't want to go dump. Because if they go dump, that cuts out two, three hours at the diner, okay? Wow, wow. Meanwhile, these guys these guys are making 70 bucks an hour. They get, they get half pay the rest of their life based on the last three years of their earnings after 20 years. And, you know, the last three years, they've, they've earned two and a half to three times their normal salary, right? Right, right. But, um, but this morning what I did was I heard him coming, okay? We just had the storm rip through last night, so leaves everywhere. We, we blew him out to the street. Here right. he comes. I jumped out on the stoop with my cell phone camera as he came by. Right. Okay. And he stayed next to the curb. Now, my other alternative is to call 311. But if I call 311 and complain, then I'll get a sanitation supervisor here taking a report and then going through our garbage for the next 10 weeks. Yep. Okay. Yep. We had a neighbor down the block complain about something. We all got $300 <laughs> tickets over a month and a half. Okay. So now I just run out there, like, you know, and if he says anything, it's like I'm, uh, I'm into street sweepers. That's why I'm yeah, not. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, he came close to the curb today. Yeah. Uh, very, very curious about that. Street okay, people. cause what, and effect. What, what is what is that? The part, uh, Department of Sanitation, man, it's the best job going. We haven't had one here in almost two years. Oh yeah, but you got what? You got alternate side of street parking. I see. Weeks, I right? seen one. I but seen one the other the day. Problem. We've had construction on one building across the street oh so then we had the, get, yeah. then we had the gas lines done right. and they stopped the alternate side because of all of the because of the construction on the building then the yeah. school then the gas lines then they came back with con ed then they went back into the school to put another floor on the school they got scaffold halfway down the block alternate side of the street parking has it and then with covid and none of there was hasn't been alternate side of street parking over here in like two years no one's moved their car. The dirt when 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 we when by the time it gets back to normal, we're gonna need the fire department to come hose the street down. <laughs> I seen one um like a week ago when I was outside my office and uh 
but it was stolen from Queens. The kids took it. <laughs> it wasn't for the Bronx. They weren't cleaning anything. They just went by. They were doing some donuts, and then they kept it moving. <laughs> the streets, yeah. yeah, they probably did a better job of cleaning the streets, baby. <laughs> they cleaned the middle of the street, so you get a nice clean. Like and when you get out of that, <laughs> yeah, we, we well, well, the guy who comes down our block usually doesn't bother turning the vacuum on. So it's just the brushes that like shoot it just all pushing, over the pushing pushing right, yeah. garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He leaves. He leaves like a a a, a dirt tunnel going down the block. <laughs> and a mud done, trail. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like I'm out on uh, James Dry Lake bed, comes out following of that the ATVs across the desert. The big plume of dust. That's what you were talking about about carrying water. Tom, they can't carry but so much. He just drizzles. Yeah, it. exactly. They don't want to use it. Creating yeah. a mud trail. Oh, I've never seen them leave a damp trail behind them, so they never turn on the water. Oh, yeah. You got to see. See, I live on a block with a school. So what happens is that the old milk that goes into the garbage, they yeah. drag that from the school to the. Oh, the yeah. Park. That leaves that nice scented yeah, trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nothing like that old milk smell. <laughs> and oh, a, yeah. And a hot day, the, like a hot day TV, in Brooklyn. It's the old urine <laughs> smell in the subway. That's the one that beats it. Nah, okay. The urine we smell have in the elevator. But man. Hey, hey, we're we're also part of the tourist board for New York City. So uh, just look at the adventures ahead of you when you visit New York. Uh, we right now have a shooting range in Times Square. It's a live shooting range. Okay. Uh, there's no cost except to the monks that give you a, a set of prayer beads and then show you a temple they're building in Chinatown. By the way, uh -huh. there's no real estate left in Chinatown to build the temple. Okay. And then hit you up for a donation. Uh, besides the guys, the CD guys, because they're always breaking, man. That that you know that that their tunes are ready to break any time now. Uh, the, but wait, once they hand forget, you, don't forget Elmo that smells like Budweiser. Uh, well, that's Elmo. Uh, <laughs> the one that smells like Budweiser is usually too drunk to grope you. Okay. Uh, so nothing but uh, festivity. Okay. Uh, then you can go to Greenpoint where we lift an eight-story uh, uh, Giglio. That weighs three tons, okay, with 43 fat Italian men ready to have a heart attack, okay? And then you can have some Zeppelis, which, by the way, are deep-fried donuts, okay? Yeah. And dumped wet in powdered sugar, which, by the way, they're delicious, but they kind of stay with you for the next three years. Uh, but So we have nothing but excitement in the city, so... I heard uh, plan your Tom, next trip. Plan heard, your next trip here. I heard DJI is gonna use those donuts for their next battery design, so they don't they don't uh get bloated. They don't swell up. They, yeah. they, they don't swell up. They they're stronger than plastic after a day or two. That's right. <laughs> you know what's the worst part about that whole Times Square thing? When they get the video footage and you watch Batman get beat up, oh. it just kind of ruins it for the kids. <laughs> That's Batman right. You can't. Beat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that's that turned into a nightmare. Or, or a Superman smoking a joint. Okay, <laughs> he's smoking a spliff. Okay, and the naked cowboy at this age should no longer be naked. Yeah, that that that's. So oh, and the naked cowgirl guys. Right. So guys, there's a there, there's a naked cowgirl too. Let me tell you, if you think the naked cowboy is too old to be naked, she's she already gets Medicare. And a full retirement from Social Security, okay? Uh, so avert your eyes. That's all I'm saying. Avert your eyes. Yeah, I, I mean, look, we have nothing but exciting things to do in the city, okay? You can get cut off by a rental scooter at almost every street corner. Mm -hmm. And it'll usually be some young snot-nosed kid going to college, okay, that doesn't even have the helmet on the right way. Okay. I saw did Stevie, have you seen the pink scooters? No. I saw a guy riding a pink there's a some pink rental company out there. I don't know what it is. They come with pink helmets, by the way, too. So what the scooter you got a match. You got a yeah. match. Yeah, we got lime yeah. green ones yeah. now. Yeah. We got the blue yeah. rebel ones. Okay. Well, you know, they don't want cars in Manhattan. Well, this in is in this is, uh, New York City is an anti car culture. Yeah. New yeah. York City's an anti car culture. Go to Manhattan. Every parking is for commercial. It's very rare that you find parking that's alternate side that you could park your car legally. Not in Manhattan. And that and that spot would be taken all well, not south of 60th. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, in the there's village spots. downtown, in it, the village downtown in uh, Manhattan, and on uh, some of the uh, some of the streets, like certain places in Sixth Avenue and other places, we got parking on certain meetings and stuff spots like that. Yeah, yeah. but those uh, that's that's the anomaly. What we're talking about here is if we didn't have COVID, you would have had congestion pricing s- south of 60th Street already. Okay? Oh, they were working. Yeah, they were working towards that. Yeah. But, but if you come to COVID, that got put off. You, you guys know? in the chat, if you come to visit for a meetup or anything like that, we'll figure things consult, out. Consult one of us before you head oh, out yeah. to go sightseeing and we'll help yeah. you out as far as uh, where you should go and park and, and stuff like that. The parking lots are a rip off. If you have an SUV, they'll charge you double the price. Because they could fit two Civics. With and and the power. signs are misleading. The sign you see is not the price you're paying because they haven't added 25% parking tax that the city adds on and all that other nonsense. And, and, and by the time you, you pull out of right. a parking lot, Stevie's 100% correct. You could pay $50 an hour, okay, mm-hmm. in a, in a midtown parking lot, which is completely too. ridiculous. And don't wing it. Don't go out there and read the sign because – in New York, oh, you can't. The signs have signs. So this yeah. sign says one thing, the other sign says another thing. And there'll be signs. Broadway. Yeah, they'll have a, a pole like 12 feet because they got to fit like eight signs on it yeah. before you can reach and it. And they all conflict with one another. <laughs> like, and you, on know, and you need a doctor. One sign says <laughs> you can't park here, and the other sign says you can't park here. And the other sign says when you can park there. You, you need a between, doctorate in theoretical physics at MIT to figure it out. Two minute why. time limit from the end of the time on the first sign to the beginning of the time on the second sign. <laughs> Cause Which, by the time you parallel oh, in there, you can't park there anymore. So, so we got a new thing that's happening. Driving to work yesterday, going down Decalb, okay, from Bedford, okay, mm-hmm. headed towards Clinton Hills, on one block. Eight cars booted. Okay. So here's what happens. They boot your car. You got 24 hours mm-hmm. to call into that number with a valid credit card. They'll issue you a code that will unlock the boot. You have to deliver it to the precinct within 24 hours. Otherwise, they'll charge you, okay, uh, for the full price of that boot plus an administrative penalty fee. But if you don't get it off within 24 hours, then a tow truck will come and snatch your car and put it in the impound lot. Then you'll have a boot fee impound. to pay, uh, the impound fee, the yeah, tow yeah, fee, anyway. besides the scoff law fee. It, Do you know how many cars are abandoned in impound lots a no, year? You got to pay City? the impound fee even with the boot. The only thing yes. you don't pay is the tow fee. Uh, no, you will pay the tow fee. No, now. if they don't, if they don't move it. I'm just oh, saying, if they don't move it, it that's it. it. You you're saving the, the tow. Fee. You're saving the tow and the impound fee, and you can no, get access still to your car the right impound away. fee. Well, it's part of the charge of the unbooting. Like, fee. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. And then they ask you to take the boot off yourself or you can oh, yeah. wait for and, somebody to come. Right. But if you take it off yourself, you have to bring it to the precinct. Yeah, within a certain time. Period. Yeah. And if you don't, then you get or charged, you get charged for, the, for the toll fee and everything. So, so like we saw said, somebody not too like long I ago said, try to drive away with it. Like I said, okay. consult us well, first before going I would love to be a tourist in our city. <laughs> If you come in town to, to a drone meetup and you want to go to Times Square and all that stuff, talk to somebody in the in the community before you head out with your family. Don't get your rent a car trapped up in a five hundred dollars worth of fines. <laughs> but uh, guys, I got one other thing. Going back to China, their military has developed this uh, sharp drone that they're going to deploy for uh, intelligence gathering and anti-submarine warfare activity. And this drone is seven feet, yes. two inches, something so like it's that. It's got a bionic <laughs> tail ring that's supposedly capable of making this drone move through water at 10 knots. And it's got all around, uh, what do you call it, obstacle avoidance. And it's got side sense, uh, side scanning sonar. Yeah. Ooh. Look it at has it. active track. No, just kidding. And they say it looks- <laughs> active track on. <laughs> it looks just like a, a, a real shark, they say. Yeah, seven feet, two inches. It moves, what, that's equivalent to like 11 miles per hour? What, 10 yeah, hours, something, something like that. that? Yeah, so it's 11 miles per hour. And it could, um, it could, it could uh, identify 
and destroy, right? Or something of that nature. Is <laughs> something crazy. Yeah, man. this is insane, bro. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know where they go. Imagine with. a few of those things going by, and and in the distance, I'm not it's just going the shape of a shark. It, it looks <laughs> like a shark, so it could it could knock out mines. It could uh, it could do um, what reconnaissance? Just you know, mm-hmm. circle yeah. areas and and. Uh, yeah, it's got, gather uh, data and information. They, they got it together. Um, intelligence, you know, the, you know information. And on, you sure about that? Watch, the watch the first time a U.S. ship blows a regular great white out of the water, thinking it's a Chinese uh, <laughs> shark drone. Peter's going to be all Peter. over. Peter, yeah. right? I'm thinking of Peter right away. <laughs> yeah, right away. <laughs> what you got to do is just make sandwiches, bro. Yeah, look, look. Here's what the Japanese defense it. force is saying. <laughs> OK, the Japanese Defense Force, OK, uh, have already decided they're going sushi hunting. OK, <laughs> sushi they ain't hunting. letting that shit come anywhere near them. This is crazy. Yeah. You know, it, you know what? Fuel is going to go in this direction. I mean, we got hummingbirds flying on butterflies, right? Right. It's not that <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Listen, everything right, those evil now. hummingbirds, they evil got, hummingbirds. They have camera. Drones that look like uh, ducks that are in the water collecting water samples. You know, oh, yeah. they got all kind of things now. So, well, you know, this is just one more to the collection. Yeah. And guess yeah, what, yeah. guys? It's about that time. Woo! For us to say goodbye yeah. to all our friends and family. Yep. <laughs> yes. Don't Good show, forget. man. Uh, yeah, Life is Fun Show. I believe they got Chris Hope on there, and I believe a police officer that uses drones in his uh his oh, job. Okay. Um, he they okay. had him on before, I believe. Guys, All before right. you leave, hit that thumbs up button for us. Oh, yes. really hit the thumbs it. up. Eddie, yeah, hit me okay. up. Bro. That thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, Eddie, I'm gonna talk to you soon. Uh, also, guys, if you can make it up to Rhode Island, okay, uh, you'll probably see a bunch of us up there. And again, another good time in store for all of us, I think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, enjoy yourselves. Make sure you head over where great lead in for the Fly for Fun show. Johnny okay. Fire. Keep, keep their numbers up. We yeah. appreciate it. And, uh, Herman? Yes. Well, guys, we'll be back again <laughs> on Sunday. And, uh, well, hope to see you guys back with us on Sunday. And, uh, fly safe, be safe. And I'll see you next time on Phantom Flight 101 with those guys. With those guys. Those.